vinegary smell that PVA has. That's interesting. <laughs> wow. Hello, hello, everybody. We are live. Hello. We are live. Coming to you live from the Apollo Theater. Yeah. <laughs> in downtown. Was it no, was Detroit? it Philadelphia? Oh. Apollo. No, oh. LA? No. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> we need to we need a we need a new theater. <laughs> happy paper people, where happiness and creativity collide. <laughs> That's our theater. We love where really? happiness and creativity collide. That is what Happy Paper People is. Welcome, welcome, everybody. And happy birthday. We'll just say right up front, happy birthday to all our Happy Paper People. We are excited to be with you today to celebrate Happy Paper People's fourth birthday. There we are. Here we are. Let's go say hello to whoever is here. I know Margie was first one in because she beat me in there. Hello, Margie. <laughs> hey, you guys need to know that Margie sent something so beautiful for the HPP fundraiser sale that is live from retreat. If y'all know what Margie's superpower is on the side that you don't get to see very often, but she's fantastic at it, you'll have an idea of what it is. And it is amazing. It is gorgeous. And it is worth hundreds, hundreds of dollars. So don't miss that sale live from retreat because it is really, really pretty. Ah, and I, yeah, she beat me in here today. So uh, <laughs> Glennis, Glennis is here. Glennis, how, how is Glennis here? here? How are you here? Are you not on a plane or are you already in Portugal? <laughs> yawn. Oh, no, no yawning allowed. We didn't get much sleep either. <laughs> Hi, Joanne. Hello, hello. So glad to see you here. And Miss Sylvia, yay, we're all ready for some cake and ice cream. Ooh, me too. Sylvia, even though she's away for the weekend, um, we're working on finishing some very important scrapbooks. She's still tuning in, and we're so happy to have you here, even in chat, Sylvia. We don't have any kale, but we'll have cake. <laughs> or brownies. Or brownies. Oh, we've got cheesecake in the freezer. I guess that's about the best I can do. I have ice cream and berries. Uh, oh, ooh, that's even <laughs> better. Yum. Hiya, hiya. Hey, Casey. Hello, hello. Casey, are you on break or are you done working for the day? That'd be awesome if you're done working. Then you'll be backpacking for retreat. Getting ready. We are getting so close. We are like less than two weeks. We're just over a week away from retreat. And we are so excited. That's pretty much all I've been doing each day is... Um, working on retreat stuff because there's a lot to prepare and I just keep finding more stuff. So I'm just super excited. going to be so much fun. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Oh, I know Sarah's on the edge of her seat packing for retreat too. Oh, you guys wait until you see what Sarah is bringing for the fundraiser sale. Sarah and Margie like alone. Their, their two things alone take this sale. It's just amazing. 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 We have such a variety of things this year and such cool items handmade by Happy Paper People. I'm very excited about that. Um, I'm not spilling the beans on some of the other things like specific journals and oh, wait till you see. These, these things are so <laughs> neat. Very excited. Get your snacks. Put on your happy pants. There you go. <laughs> Have some more cake. Happy pants. Never too much cake. Hey, Pam. Hello, hello. Good to have you with us. Very good to see you, Pam. Sylvia Sunshine. Happy pants. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Joanne's out antique shopping. That's oh, awesome. Fun. Or are you already done? Did you find anything cool, Joanne? That's what we want to know. Did you find anything cool? Hey, Dawn. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you, Dawn. Um, I imagine it's starting to get pretty warm in Arizona. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Pam, we heard you've been crafting with Sarah. That's pretty awesome. Like right now, crafting long distance, not long distance, uh, virtually. 
<laughs> but we heard that you guys are close enough together to get together. That's pretty awesome. Love that. Love that. Um, let's see who else is here. Show it where the, a nice cream. Yes, a nice cream. Um, <laughs> why is my doorbell ringing? <laughs> Somebody's kind of dropping by some cake, I guess. Oh, well, he's uh, tall, dark, beard, mustache. Hmm. Uh, I don't know who it is, though. As long as it's not Kevin, we're all set. Um, yes. For all I know, that could be Kevin based on Margie's description. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, day off, working on retreaters, paper packs. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, Joanne, tell us about what you found. That's awesome. Um, he didn't have a kilt on, Margie, but it looks like somebody that you'd probably want to put a kilt on. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will just say that and leave it at that. Uh. <laughs> Leave my Kevin alone. <laughs> oh, no, Doug just got home, so I think um, I think Doug was is outside and probably just walked around the side of the house. And this guy saw him and went off the porch to look to talk to him. So I don't have to go answer the phone in my <laughs> um, lovely basketball shorts and t-shirts. So. <laughs> Bonus. Uh, yeah. So it's birthday month, and we always get together to celebrate. And there's no um, specific, well, now what are they doing here? Walking around the side of the house. Now there's more men. What's going on at my house? <laughs> You're having a male invasion. It's raining men. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, Sylvia. <laughs> 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 there are several of them out there now. Hmm. 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 Things will make you go hmm. <laughs> it's raining, man. <clears throat> no singing today. I, I'm still just getting. I know. Lights. And if, I'm afraid if I do that, then I'm going to start coughing and stuff. So, uh, so today's agenda is um, no specific agenda. We have some games and we like to just hang out with you, play some games and have some fun oh, and like celebrate that. a little bit. Magic Mike tore at Marianne's. <laughs> there you go, Casey. <laughs> I'm, I'm just getting them prepped for you when you guys all get here for retreat. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That would, uh, That's funny, Casey. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, we just we want to hang out. There will be no sale today. We want to just hang out, enjoy each other's company for um, uh, for birthday month, have some fun, play some games, just relax, whether you're um, working on uh, organizing or um, sorry about all the ringy dingy interruptions there, but I can't stop that. And all, apparently all the men are running around the house. Um we have some prizes to give away. We'll have fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Daddy takes a tea bird away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cat <laughs> coasters. What are you going to do with the cat coasters, Joanne? <laughs> are you going to make them into a book? Oh, wood thread thing. You'll put lace on like one of those old wooden spools. Those are very cool. What's really loud? Me? Um, Probably my... Your ringy dingy. Ringy, ringy. Yeah, let me see if Mom, I can. Ringy dingy dingy. dingy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It'll stop shortly. <laughs> the chime. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, uh, Lucy hears it. She jumps up no matter where she is and runs to the front door. <laughs> uh huh. What's going on? Who's here? Who use them as coasters? No, she'll <laughs> use them as coasters. <laughs> well, I guess that's what you use coasters for. I don't know. <laughs> Using coasters as coasters? What in the world? I know. And so we have a few prizes to give away today. And um, some of you I know are packing for a treat. Some may just be chilling. Some may be working on a project. Maybe you're doodling or coloring. Looks to me like Gim's about ready to doodle or color or doodle and color. 
Yes, but I'm missing some of my pens. I think I left mm -hmm. them downstairs. Uh oh, gel pens or other? yeah, <laughs> gel pens no. that I had to buy because I ran out of all my. Run gel down pens. and get them. We'll time you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, boy. <laughs> Uh, I actually was um, sitting here playing with some uh, gel polishes because <laughs> um, I ordered some blanks from my new pair eyewear glasses. You guys all see these. I took DM's code and I got myself a pair of pair eyewear. Um, anytime you buy one then they give you a code that you can give to somebody else to get $25 off um so I got them just like pink clear so they're not much color just a little color because I want to just put things on them and they're they have magnets on the two corners and so you can get toppers that have magnets on them these are half half glasses you know, kind of ombre look. And then they just magnet on. So it's purple on top. And goes down to the clear pink on the bottom. So there are a lot of people that have 3D printers. And they're printing out in the different. They Each um, pair of glasses, they give a name. So you know what the name is of your glasses. And then, you know, you can go to these people that print them out on 3D printers. And so I bought a bunch of blanks some um, clear ones and some black ones. And my plan is to, I'm, I know I'm gonna have to get more. I only got five of each. I really thought I got more, but you know, it takes a while to get them. So I'll have to order some more right away. Um, Cause DM and I have been talking and we wanna try some, try some mixed media things on them. Like, uh, well, I've got a bunch of gel polish, you know, like nail polish. I just did some, these are cat eye. I just did samples on here of this cat eye polish. I don't know which way to turn there. And so I think I might do cat eye on. I mean, do the color and you hold the magnet to it and get the cat eye swirl through it. That will be, um, that will look really cool. But um, we were thinking like alcohol ink would mm -hmm. be super fun to do on there just you i mean can do paper as long as you put enough coats over it or yeah. use a, um you could collage on this mm -hmm. and you know do whatever and then just seal it in afterwards yep um yeah i had him send me a um a, a 3d cut out of another a blue you look at the color online and it's really hard to tell what the color actually is so uh -huh. check this out <laughs> That's blue. <laughs> and online it looks the same as purple. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> the, purple, the purple. This one probably looks blue, huh? Oh, this, actually, that one, one, purple. One, one, one is that? purple. Okay, this one is dark blue. This one's like navy blue. Oh, I like wow. that. It almost looks black. Yeah, I'm sure it does online. Yeah, this is really a really dark navy blue. That and one goes with what you're wearing. And I thought, well, if I don't like the colors, like this one's a little bright, I can just paint over them. It actually does. It's the same color. Hmm. So I got some black, some clear. I thought I would try one of these half ones and see how it is. I'm kind of bummed, though, that purple doesn't show up as purple on line. It does. It does. does, actually. Does it show up as purple? Um, mm -hmm. Unless it's... Unless oh, yeah. On my YouTube, YouTube, it's purple. It's purple on my That's YouTube. Exciting. Normally purple has a hard time showing up as purple. Right. But yeah, that does. normally purple shows up as blue. Mm -hmm. That's and cool. I would like to keep her eyes. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so um, I was sitting here, <clears throat> started to clean my desk off and then they arrived in the mail. And so I um, wanted to start playing. And so I have some of these, you know, round fingernail things. That's where I, that's where I just play like with fingernail polish, try different things on, um, different kinds of swirls and things to see if I want to do them. And then I end up never doing them. I just do them on here to play, but I really like the cat eye that ends up looking really cool. I've had that as my polish 
And I think that will look really neat as um, toppers. So I don't know. I might sit here and paint a topper and in cat eye and see what it looks like. Ooh. So, oh, what are you doing, Jen? Oh, I, so I haven't done my envelopes yet. I did my paper, my, you know, this week, but I haven't finished last week. So I thought I would make an envelope. This was a back page of a, like a welcome to the state catalog when we were driving out to retreat in September. Oh, cool. Yeah, and I like that. I, I thought great. it was just cool looking, so I saved it. And then I just wanted to put a little bit of white on it before I stick this um, dyed piece of graph paper oh, on the back. So, yeah. So I have to run it. down and get my water because I thought I brought it up to, you know, to paint with. Oh, and stuff. I didn't and it's either. Not sitting here, okay. so I will be right back. Okay, go ahead. So yesterday I, I, I intended to sit down and work on my two journal pages for retreat. And I didn't have any brilliant ideas. I usually have an idea somewhere to go with it. I didn't have any ideas. And so I sat down and I started making wax seals. <laughs> After about 75 <laughs> wax seals. Oh, you can't see that that way. Look at this wax seal, Margie. So cute. <laughs> I love that one. The little paw print. And the pad is a heart. And look at one of the toes. The toe right here is a heart. One of the four toes is a heart. That is really cute. So then I thought, well, I've, I've made all these seals. I better at least use a seal on my pages. And, oh, oh, check this one out. Carrie isn't here, is she? I have the cutest little hedgehog seal. Now, I've not gone over this one with gold, so it might be kind of hard to see, but that is a hedgehog. Yeah, that's kind of hard to see. This one will be a little easier. Let me show you this one. Now, oh, that is cute. see the hedgehog on that one? Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's cute. Okay, so I'm sitting here with the seals and thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do on my pages yet, but um, I'm going to turn these seals into a dangle. <laughs> I didn't know what I would put them on. So here's the hedgehog seal, <laughs> wax seal as a dangle. <laughs> the paw print is really cute. So I decided to use the hedgehog on one and the paw print on the other. So here's the paw print, wax seal. Turn around this way. Got it on the wrong side. Hang on. Turn around. <laughs> Every now and then I get a little. And I don't know if you can see the little cat head on the bottom. The charm. Yeah, it's really moving too fast. The charm is a little That's cat cute. head. <laughs> That's, That's really cute. So um, as, as a group, the retreaters, we each make a page and, well, folded page. So it's actually four pages a piece. And we put together and bind and, and we're going to, we're getting more creative every year, every retreat. Um, they're going to be really cool bound. And two of the retreaters make the two covers, but we put together two journals. One of them stays in the retreat archives. And one of them we sell at the um, HPP fundraiser. And they're going to be very cool. I'm excited about the binding techniques we're going to use this time. I'm excited about the covers. Um, two of our retreaters are doing those. And we'll tell you about those when we get to the sale. Hi, Sheila. Yay, kitty. Yes. Um, and I'm excited about the pages. People's pages are looking really, really cool. So, those will be, um, I think I'm going to put the, the one with the paw. That one will be on the one that will be sold because I know we have a lot of animal lovers. And so that will go into the journal that will be, um, that will be auctioned off. And Carrie's not here. So I'm going to, uh, she's not here cool, to see the hedgehog, but I made a couple extra hedgehog seals for her because Carrie is a hedgehog freak. She loves hedgehogs. Awesome. My yeah. So she'll like those. I'm going to use one of my jelly prints on ledger for one of the folios. Ooh, nice. I love how um, every retreater does a one folio um, for the journal and which ends up being four pages, you know, when you use front and back and every one of them is different and um, everybody signs them. 
on the bottom right hand corner of the center and you just get you know the artistry the artistic um nuances from all the different um retreaters and it's just it's always a really really cool book casey really can you cool. do me a favor can you make sure that the fold on that one is really what do i want to say sturdy sturdy yeah Make sure that the fold is sturdy because you, you know how we're going to bind, Casey, and that, um, that it doesn't. It to, sometimes they tear. Yeah, it needs to be able to handle, and, and sometimes we have to put a little piece of washi or a piece of fabric right down the center on that fold just to give it a little bit of stability so that we can bind it. We like to bind them. Um, well, if you know what Coptic binding is, we're going to do something similar to that. Uh, is similar in that each page is folded and the page will stay together and then they're stacked and bound. It's not going to be Coptic, but um, it's super cool. You'll, you guys will love it. Um, but that way, when you look at one page open front and back of both sides, you know that one person, one artist created that whole thing. You don't have to open this one and then go all the way to the back of the book to get the other half of that page so you can reinforce it with washi or with fabric or yeah, whatever it takes. So thank you for getting that word for me, Marianne. I, I just totally sure. went out of my head. Yeah. Look at you. What do you do? I thought you were going to be, um, you know, um, I have the journal from September that sold. If you want me to go grab it, Ooh. I have it handy. Yeah. <clears throat> I was just showing it to awesome. somebody yesterday. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll bring the others from some past retreats um, to retreat. And so we can show you there. But uh, Jen actually um, won in the Thank auction, you, Casey. The one from uh, the one from September's retreat. And I'll make her. She, she, I know she's got it right there in her studio. She can. Um, I'll make her full screen and she can show you. Um, well, and I'll tell you while yeah. she's gone, she made the cover to this one and it is super cool. Mixed media tree. Um, yeah. If you think her, if you think her chair was good in the shadow box, wait till you see this tree. It's really cool. I am going to end up doodling and coloring on, on top this. of that one. I'm just, okay. putting, I'm just putting gold, all the putting different walls down. On. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. I, didn't even bring in water. Okay, so Jen comes back. I'm going to make her full screen. She can show you that. I hit a crap the land. <laughs> uh oh. I'm blocked in. Uh oh. oh well. <laughs> You're stuck with us for as long as we're here. <laughs> Yay, us. <laughs> oh, Look how thing. cool that tree is. And the little little crocheted, the little red um, flowers or leaves. I think they're leaves, aren't they? They're. Um, stay. There we go. There you go. Those These are, are leaves. Um, I hand crocheted them. Yeah, Jen made the cover on this one. I know, Casey. This is it's amazing. <laughs> that tree she made out of fabric, crocheted the leaves. Very creative. Oh, really and cool. this, yeah, that's, that's right. I forgot about this. This oh, is, I love that. Um, a digital I made of, um, one of the pictures of, hi Lucy, of one of my mom's paper towels from, from a painting. Yes. Love mm. that. Those paper towels that get all kinds of color on them. Yeah. yeah. She made a digital out of that, which looks awesome. Go ahead and flip through the book. And show there's that's the Coptic binding. And so you, as you notice, it has a lot of room to move. So the pages, mm -hmm. they can be very fragile. We <laughs> are the other day. This one will be bound um, similarly, but different. So mm -hmm. this is Mary's page. Mary Giuliano. She's in our group. Everybody's in our group. <laughs> right. <laughs> So what I asked people to do, um, because after I bought it, was I asked them to sign a pay their page, so they have some stuff. Right. In their stuff. 
So yeah, we got to go in and write a note to her on our own page. So if she flips through something fast so that you can't read everything we wrote, then that's why. I thought that was a really great idea too, by the way. Sorry for the shadow. We have too many things on my desk. <laughs> That's really pretty. So by the time she, you flip two pages, you have four sides. Um, that's one person's folio. One person, the folio being the one sheet folded in half, four sides. Yep. This is Sandy's. Beautiful work. There's a lot of texture here, so I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. She's embossed some... Um, pieces of paper and used them as texture. I'm assuming this is a digital eco print. Mm -hmm. this is my yeah. page. It is. So we got some cheesecloth at retreat, some of which I dyed with ink, which you can see cool. here. And then I used the cheesecloth packaging for the front. And the ATCs. I this was one of my leftover ones that I didn't um, give away, so I put it in with this page because it seemed to fit pretty well. Yep, that's cute. And then this was a zipper, so I just opened it and glued it down and created a pocket. I was just playing with textures mostly. This one was my mom's. That's Katie, for those of you who don't know Jen's mom. <laughs> Put a lot of hand um, details in there. Guess, I'll give you one guess who's done this page. <laughs> <laughs> Love all the flippy doors. Yes. Well, each one is like a house. Yes. Yeah. So it's supposed to look like a, um, you know, like those books where you change the head and the body and the yeah, feet? I love That's that. what I had done. Yeah. It's I cool. haven't come up with something ingenious like I did last the last two yet. <laughs> yeah. No, Sarah, they're never boring. It's like, yeah. I, you know, I look at that and I think, wow, all that stuff, you know, and I, I have not come up with a great idea for this year either. That was fun to raised, make. I love this raised texture here. You know how I did that? What, I, a put, pencil? Um, I put dowels and I did them halfway and then I, mm. I scrunched it all up together. And yeah. Made them, yeah. Super cool. Mm. I used dowels to make the things. Yeah, nobody's is ever boring. We always think it is to us. Cute. This one's candies. <clears throat> Pretty butterflies. And this one's Mary Ann's. It doesn't like the three-dimensional beads. It keeps poking the pages <laughs> every time I use it. That's I'll put a sticker or something over it, maybe. Just, uh, give it some, just give it some strength. Sure. Super, super pretty. These dangles are really neat. I love this lace in here. And Marianne had used pages from Edith Holden's book. Edith Holden's book. Yep. Very so cool. The back is just simple. Like Dictionary it. page over the I like it. Yeah, no, Sarah, nobody's is ever boring. They're just different. And we all look at ours and think ours is the most boring of all of them. And it's okay because everybody else likes them and we're just critical of ourselves. Yep. <laughs> so. Well, I thought I thought mine was um, kind of boring. I actually made mine at retreat. I didn't end up having time to make it beforehand. <laughs> And then, although everybody this time knows it has to be made before you get here, 
Yeah, well, that makes sense because because it's getting bound. You have to have time to find it, right? Yeah, I actually, well, I think what I was doing was a little different because we ran into some other scheduling issues and stuff. Yep. And I yeah. Across the well, you were driving, so <laughs> so I I ran um, out of time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <I was> driving. <laughs> It is a beautiful book. It always ends up beautiful. It's very different every retreat. I loved mm -hmm. looking at some of the older very ones. different every retreat, and yep. um, but it's always cool. It's always beautiful. I'll bring some of the past ones um, to retreat, and you guys can see them there. And I'm excited to see. I mean, we never know what this one, this retreat's books are going to end up um, looking like until we get there because yep. we haven't seen each other's pages. So I was thinking about maybe next time having a theme. Here's the theme, Here's the theme for the book. I don't know. Margie. What no, Margie, saying? I cannot craft and drive at the same time. Unfortunately, she's talented, but not there, are, there are limits. <laughs> there are limits. We put that limit on her. She probably could if we let her. <laughs> but no. Not allowed. Oh, so I don't know. Maybe I'll sit here and turn some more of those black seals into little dangles. And maybe we'll, I don't, I could donate some of those to the, contribute those to the sale. We could sell some of those. Those are fun. True. Um, I need to do my pages though. I'm probably the only one. Nope. I haven't even started them. Oh, really? Oh. I have no idea what I'm going to do. No. I mean, my oh, last, yeah. my last ones have been pretty unique yeah. and I just haven't had the idea. Yeah. I haven't the other had thing it. we do for retreat me. is we all make um, a bunch of uh, ATCs and we do an ATC swap. So you come home with, um, an ATC from everyone at retreat. I that have all of mine too. A lot of fun. Yeah. I've got mine for this retreat done. Um, Not me. I just don't have my. Somebody's <laughs> behind this time. They tease me for be always being the last one and never having it done on time. Because, you know, <laughs> not like I have anything to do. <laughs> my ATCs are done. I had no idea what I was going to do. So I just started playing made some backgrounds and then just went with where it took me. Um, I do have them right here. Maybe I'll show you, show you guys. Cause I have mine started. You don't know. You don't get to see those that retreat necessarily because although we might show you that special project, we're going to make Wednesday night. That's going to hold them. We might, we might share that and show you, but um, yeah. Okay. Give me a second here. Uh, wow. And you know, those of you who have made them for retreat, uh, feel free to post them in the group if you want, because people don't get to see them if they're not at retreat. You could post them. Here are my retreat, uh, my my um, ATCs for the retreat swap. Because, yeah, they don't get to see those necessarily. They can be all the same or they can be different. They can be whatever they want. People get to make whatever ATCs they want. So my ATCs are done, but my pages are not done. My two pages are not done. So I started playing on two pieces of paper last night to see if it could just take me somewhere for the pages. <laughs> I'm hoping what I'm doing right now might become. Might, might become your pages? Yeah. Are those metallics? Yes. Cool. They're metallic watercolors and they're just yeah. metallic colors. Um, yep. That's what I thought. It was just a pile I of had, colors. I was running out of gold paint. So uh, gold Um pens so much that I decided I needed to do something different mm. and I can watercolor just as fast as I could draw with some, you know, like I could use a watercolor to, to draw okay. on it. So I didn't buy as many new pens to get the cold colors as I needed. I went and got some of this and it's also helping to do bigger areas, which I didn't have something to do bigger areas. Oh, cool. When so I, I metallic watercolors. Yeah. <laughs> Good cracking. I will, Margie. Maybe I should be working on that today, but I can't I can't focus very well when I'm on live with you guys to do something like that. 
Um, Casey, you can put them in the paper packs and hand them out. Some people make one specifically for um, each people, so they want to give specific ones to specific, specific people. Other people say, come choose which one you like best. Um, other people just hand them out. So we'll we'll just hand them out and put them on everybody's station. Um, if you want to put them in the paper pack, you can do that as well. Hi, Lois. And thank you for the happy birthday for HPP. We are we are excited. It's this is this is our happy place. Um, maybe we should work that into the banner where where happiness and creativity collide. <laughs> I do like that. I like that too. I do like that. It, this is our safe place to fall and to land and be creative and and know that um, it's safe. It's safe. Whoops, didn't mean to yell. Well, that's okay. Some of us are hard of hearing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny. I don't even see that as yelling anymore because no. Margie always types in, in caps so she can see it better. And uh, I think she says so she can see it better. I think it's really so I can see it better. <laughs> I think it's so she can hear it better. Yeah, she's so considerate of me. She types in caps so that I can see it better. Hi, Toby. <laughs> yeah, so no worries about the yelling because we don't take it as such. We uh we like to think the best of everything and not that anybody's yelling. If so if they're yelling at us, probably won't do them any good because we wouldn't even notice. We don't take offense to things. So <laughs> um, all right. So I have just put clear coat on one. <laughs> one that is true casey you guys do choose what or guys tend to choose what they want to listen to guys have choice <laughs> hearing anyway yeah well we maybe we should have choice hearing <laughs> we do we just choose to hear everything <laughs> mm -hmm. uh okay let me show you my, I'm going to show you my ATCs. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you my ATCs because, because they're done. Is that just because I'm thrilled that they're already done, ready for retreat? I, I, know, I, do. I know. Because <laughs> it doesn't happen all the time. I haven't decided if they're quite done. Um, there's something in my mind that I think maybe I need to do, but, but maybe I don't, I don't know. Not quite sure. They're kind of the same, but they're each a little bit different. They're the same idea, but they're each a little bit different, um, color. They all have different mixed media backgrounds. Hmm. Maybe I do need to do I like it. That. Some of them I feel like I need to do one last thing too. Others I think are okay. Do I like that too? Yeah. I like making the backgrounds. Right. I can make a thousand backgrounds and you guys just make the ATCs. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to start with something somebody else made as a base. Yeah. And just, I oh. love making the backgrounds. Matt, and then I just feel like I'm not um, super creative on finding the idea to make the whole ATC. But but I love doing the backgrounds in different mixed media ways. Well, I've been using your backgrounds for my for the journal I'm making for retreat. Oh, I love Mary that. Ann. Cool. Because we, we, I think I bought them last year, but I've been I, using I them. I think you bought I them absolutely at, at them. one of the DMB sales. Yeah. Yep. Thank you very much for your Hi, help. Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Margie, that's why I was thinking maybe next time I'll do a theme for the, the retreat journal. So we all have kind of a theme to work off. It might make it a little easier. <laughs> yeah. So that's my ATCs. I'd have DM show you hers, but she's not no, done yet. Not done. <laughs> I can show the bases, but they're not exciting yeah. at all. Trust me. More fun to see the whole thing. I know. I don't. Yeah, I'm still trying to wrap my head around what to do for the pages. Not sure. Hi, honey. I can't move. Let's go. 
Doug's ready to go to birthday dinner. Hi, Doug. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Doug. Oh, hello. I saw the door go out. That's awesome. Yeah. Yay. Um, I sold him the. No, I didn't sell him. I gave him the duck coop because he has a couple oh. mallards that are going in his backyard. Seriously? So a couple oh, over of, here. Yeah. Oh, it's the same ones that. Yeah, but he's going to come get the duck house on Monday. Okay. With a couple of his guys, they're going to take it apart, take it over there, put it back together. Okay. So he has a duck place for him to be if, if they, want they want it. Right. So I'm like, all right, fine. Good. Take it. I don't the think they up, will. The but... roll up of chain link fencing that's uh -huh. out there, right by the duck thing. Uh -huh. I told my tell it to him for 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Honey. <laughs> yeah. We also have stuff over by the door, too. Yeah. I chain told him we can get expensive. a chain link. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah. But when I told him that I'd sell him the you know, chain link fence, I'd talk to you about it and I'd come up uh -huh. with a price for that. And, he said 40 bucks for all of this stuff, including that out there. And it included those two plastic containers out there. He's like, I'll take the fencing. I'll take these two plastic containers. Okay. And I'm like, I said, we want to keep the wood mm -hmm. and the jars. Wait, you're talking about in the corner here? Yes, in the corner. Yes, the wood and the jars we want to keep. I need to it. look out there. I know. Okay. I said, okay. he's like, okay, I'll take all of it for 40 bucks. You know, or whatever, and yeah, so he's on a bigger scale for the ages. Two said, no, not two that's plus. true. No. He's like, Oh, yeah, that was the majority of the 40 bucks. So, apparently, you know how much it, they're worth. I said, Yeah, like the so, oh, the round ones, yeah, the round ones. Oh, yeah, we were gonna put either wheat or duck food in there, right? Or chicken food. Oops, I almost dipped my brush into my water, <laughs> I mean, into my drink. The well, you might say, I don't know, I forget. Yeah, don't want to get rid of those planks, those are cool. No, yeah, the blanks are, I don't want to get so I told him we talked about later, but Monday he'll come and he'll also grab the leaf bags that are between the trailers. Oh, and put in his oh yeah, I forgot about those. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. So he'll come get. Was those. that him that came to the door? Yes, it was. Because I called him and I said, "Hey, can you help me with the with that door? Tucking the door out." And he's right. like, "Sure." But he was like twenty minutes away, and he was all just oh. text you when I come when I came home, and uh -huh. I was expecting to text me. I heard the alarm go off. Yeah. A ring, and so I just came out front. And well, I looked, but he looked. Yes, I just more. used watercolored crayons. Yeah, it's a lot more cleaned up than last yeah. time I saw him. Like he'd washed yes. his hair. I use these watercolor crayons for a lot of things. I use them as sprayers. I love those. To do this, I keep it on the on the pen, and I just you're not going to see spray on this one with pink. That's stupid, Don Marie. But, um, like for instance, I'll take my watercolor things and you can see there's all colors on there because I just use the same brush and I just flick like this with a big brush and it sprays it as long as you have enough water in it and yes this I just put a bunch of crayons on it and just started adding water to it um, but yes I've been doing a lot of different things with these crayons recently. Are those the Tim Holtz watercolor? Yeah, but they're yeah. what? The first pack, first two packs of yeah. them? I don't have yep. the other ones yet. They're in your box here. I know. <laughs> um, actually, Lucy, I am playing with putting gel polish on um, pair blanks to go on my pair eyewear. <laughs> um, I just got these blanks and so I wanted to play with them and put some, um, I put some different colors, gel polish to have the, oops, to have them as toppers. And I think I want to do these, um, these, this set, all five of these are different cat eye different cat eye. you can't see them i know it's hard to, to tell there but you put the polish on and then you hold the nifty little magnet this little magnet over it and it draws whatever that the ingredient is and it gives you the cat eye and so when you look at it if you turn it this way on your nails you can see the cat eye strike through it like when like looking into a cat eye marble Mm. Yeah, those okay, those watercolor pencils. Um I had not used them enough until the last set came out and I started using them a whole lot more. 
Mm -hmm. I love them. And I can't believe I didn't use them a whole lot more before. They are so full of pigment and they work so easily just with a water brush or a brush like that stuck in water. I'm really impressed with, with how well they work like that. Yes. Marianne. Yeah. Ooh. So here they are. And the pencils. Yep. And then I got another thing of crayons here. Nice. So I need to decide what I'm going to put the pencils in. I've got my crayons and this. The regular. Um, Mine are pen. in oh, the little, crayon, not the pencil. Which kettle. But oh, I like my that. new ones are not going to fit in there. So I have to find a right. rich kettle at Halloween time where I need to buy something else. <laughs> to yeah. So I like the, the um, crayons in these because I can keep them right here by my inks. I tend to use them more if I keep them here by the inks where they're easy, um, easy to reach, easy to grab. And I do want one. I might have... I had like four or five of these acrylic things and I gave several of them away. Um, but I'm wondering, I might have one more still left. I don't know if I do, I should probably put the pencils in that. Maybe I do. I hope I do. I have to run to the Aaron other DSA. room really quick. I I've never I seen those. Casey, I actually don't have very many distress crayons. That's why I started with the watercolors. I started late in getting Tim Holtz stuff. Oh, um, Lucy, uh, that's on my wish list. I'm going to get a set of Karen Dash. Ooh. Because those are, they're like fast. And so they will be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. My regular crayons are distressed because I don't use them. <laughs> <laughs> love that. <laughs> I'll be right back, Marianne. I, I left hey. my glue in the other room, so I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> um, I, she is in Portugal. If she's already gone and has, yeah, can't, I don't know what the time either. different is. It's got to be um at least eight hours. When we started, yeah. she said it was eleven p.m. Okay. So then she's. That's why she's headed to bed. <laughs> She'll get back just in time to come to retreat. Yep, she'll have a couple of days, like two days to do to unpack, do laundry, repack for retreat, and get on a plane and head out, head out west. Actually, for her, it'll be what south. South, yeah. She's directly <laughs> east. Well, yeah, she's directly north of me. She's in Canada. I'm in Utah, but she's directly above me. So. Uh, even though it's, she's in Canada, it sounds like very far away. She's mm -hmm. really not that far away. She has the shortest plane trip of anybody who's flying, <laughs> of anybody who's coming. She has the shortest plane trip of anybody who's who's coming to retreat. But so, does she have to take a... Um, she's actually the two, closest. She doesn't have a direct, does she? Yep. Oh, good. Yep. She gets a direct in and, um, yeah... It's um, not not long and not far, so. Hmm. Yeah, she sounds like she's the farthest away, but she's got the shortest distance to go, so it's kind of funny. So don't feel bad for the Canadian traveling all the way from Canada. Feel bad for the East Coasters. <laughs> yep. But still, I can get a direct route, so yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, well, a direct flight is not bad, even if it's five or six hours. Right. It goes by really fast. Yeah, it does. Especially if they put on one movie or you take one little nap. <laughs> Boom. Or you have a book that you're listening to. Or, yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. I usually put on a movie that I know exactly what's happening in it because I've uh, already watched it a million times and I put my book on. Ah, that's funny. So why the I movie? take Delta. Delta from um, Raleigh-Durham Airport 
has a direct flight every day at, I think it's 4.30 and it gets four, in there at- Four or five, yeah. Yeah. It's at, in there like at 9.30. Nine o'clock, yeah, 9.30. In Salt Lake. And I learned a trick last time that I am okay. hoping works Work this again. time. So I am watching my airline. I swear I check it two or three times a day to make sure they haven't um, made the first class tickets less because when they do that, I can get in first class for about another $150 at the most. And they still have 11 seats open on my flight out. Oh. And so they're like going to discount open on my flight back. So, and they've and stayed that way for a while. Get an upgrade for cheap. Yeah. Yep. And then if I get an upgrade, my suitcases can be heavier. <laughs> That's right. Without you having to pay. Mm -hmm. That's true. Do you get an extra suitcase or just that they can be heavier? Um, Regular has to be under 55, I think it is, and you get up to either 75 or 75. 80 with that first yeah. class. So it's the same amount of suitcases, you just get extra weight. Uh, first class, you could get, get, get two. On regular class, you get only get one. Okay, so it's both. both. You get an extra mm -hmm. suitcase and yep. extra weight. And the other thing I, I learned is that always let them take one of your suitcases to go under the plane because that comes off the airplane first. <laughs> mm. So even if you go and don't have anything under the plane, let them take mm -hmm. your suitcase because you'll be. They put it in last and it comes out first. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Another little graft lunch. <laughs> Jen's oh, having some fun. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I startled my dog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> poor baby. I thought it was going to fall on her. It wasn't. <laughs> she just thought it was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Margie, she just skips over the border and ta-da! <laughs> mm. Lucy, we would love for you to come. Oh, in Portugal, you mean. <laughs> We'd love to have you come to retreat. Portugal would be cool, too. I knocked some stuff off my desk, Casey. Get rid of that little flashing. I still have a lot of work to do in my craft room. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> Reorganizing, and so you tend to move things over, pile them up while you organize one spot. I still haven't recovered from going to retreat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was looking for my retreat bag today. That was one of the reasons why my desk didn't cl get cleaned up until later is because I was looking yeah. for my retreat bag that has a lot of little things already. So I don't have yeah, to. Yeah, so that you can grab them. Just add can't to find it. it. Uh-oh. <laughs> so... Are you I sure either it's not the trunk of the car suitcase. ready to go? Well, no. As soon as my car comes back from up in Pennsylvania, <laughs> I will have everything in the back of my car ready to go. Yep. So, I yeah, pack my suitcase in my it. car, guys, for retreat. Yes. That is the best way to do it. Right, Casey? Yeah. We make more of a mess cleaning up a mess. Yes, absolutely. We make more of a mess crafting. And then trying to clean it up, we make more of a mess. I'm trying to open this box with one hand while I keep the other hand in here. It is not working very well. Let's see. Surely I can do this. Oh, there we go. All right. Hey, don't make Shirley don't do anything. Me. I was going to say, don't call me Shirley. <laughs> don't call me Shirley. <laughs> um, so how about a game? How about a bit of a game here? <laughs> That's a crafter's life. <laughs> How about I have like some um, reminiscent trivia questions from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Uh oh. I know. <laughs> See how I don't much have we, Mark here to help me with it. See how much we don't know from um, way back when. Let me move this. The good old days. 
Okay, let's see We're here. Always good. Marina, bad as it seems. <laughs> um, Margie, pick um a decade. Pick a decade, Margie, from forties to nineties. Me too, Joanne. <laughs> That's why we just have fun with it. There is no sixties. Uh, <laughs> no worries about it. Sixties. Okay. Uh, this is Sylvia's decade. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> let's see. Okay. So these are. Oh, you guys might be good at this, even though they're they're old. The answers to these questions are movies. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> so I will give you a clue and you guess what movie that clue is from. And um, then if you don't get it, I have a second clue and a third clue and a fourth clue and a fifth clue and a fifth clue practically giving you the name of the movie. So, <laughs> uh, we used to go to um, Art Fest. A lot of people who were flying sent their supplies and tools ahead and picked them up in Port Townsend. There's a post office there. Yep. A lot of people send their packages to me. I have, they're all stacked on the landing by, at the top of the stairs by the front door. So 60s movies. I never went to movies in the 60s, but, you know, those are the kind of movies we've probably heard about our whole life because they were from the 60s and we were alive then, even if we weren't going to movies then. <clears throat> okay, let's start with an easy one. Back in 1961, the year doesn't make any difference because, you know, uh, children of divorce were featured in this movie. I was alive. <laughs> yeah. Well, so if forget, it was 1970s or 80s. <laughs> forget forget the year because a lot of these movies have been remade a second and a third time. So you might not have ever seen the original from that decade. I think I know what it is. Lucy, what is it? What's that movie? The Parent Trap. Yeah. Oh. The Parent Trap. I was going to say Kramer versus Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> but yep, I know that that up. isn't that decade. Um, okay. Angel Eyes. Angel Eyes was the bad guy in what movie? They're all from the 60s, so I don't know if it really matters that I tell you what year, right? Goldfinger? Uh, nope. Good guess. I was trying to go backwards in my Bond movies. Yeah. Um, it is not a Bond movie. Oh, well. Although, that is a really good guess. I know they all had... It does. Names. Oh, oh, Lois, Sarah, look at that. Sarah, good, bad, and ugly. Yep, Lois, the good, the bad, the ugly. I've seen that <laughs> movie. I don't remember that, though. Eli Wallach played Tuco. Clint mm -hmm. Eastwood was the man with no name. Mm -hmm. It was a classic, sp classic. It was a classic spaghetti western. Okay, uh, does everybody know what spaghetti western means? <laughs> yeah, who can who can tell what a spaghetti western is? It's the thing that we can't Anybody? watch unless we're eating spaghetti. No. <laughs> Anybody know what a spaghetti western is? Spaghetti western is westerns that were made during that time, but most of the time they were either filmed or produced or directed by an Italian. Oh. Really? Yes, that's why they're called Spaghetti Westerns. I did not know that. Yep. Huh. No, the Italians that... went through this thing where they loved um, American cowboys. Right. 
So and is that being um, racist to call it spaghetti Western? Well, back then it wasn't. These days, nowadays, somebody I'm sure would be offended by it. Which, you know, because everybody's offended by everything. By everything, right. And it's kind of oh, I guess I should be offended by it, seeing that I'm Italian. But yeah, I, yeah. No, I, I wouldn't be offended by it. I think it's a term of endearment, kind of. Me too. Know, everybody's got to have something different from everybody else. So right. that's the Italian thing. Besides, I'm all for Italian food. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, good spaghetti never hurt anybody, right? Exactly. Let's see. Well, except for in The Godfather, he was eating spaghetti when he got <laughs> shot in the head. <laughs> That's true. I haven't oh. seen that since I was in my teens. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. That's what I need to do is a, um, a Godfather binge. When I got to go to film school because I watched The Godfather and it was my final, my, it was my final paper for my sociology class and I did how Italian Americans were perceived in films in mm. different decades. So that That's was cool. one of them. Right. And then I got, it was submitted to a films course and that's, and they said, and that's yeah. how it up there. That's cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Okay. No, no, you cannot have the chickens. <laughs> uh, standing there and waiting. Really? Yes. For you to turn away or for them to turn out. Out. Miss mom, Jen is mom. a new mommy today. <laughs> mom, mom, mom. There's yep. chickens downstairs. Mom, can I go see the chickens? She mom. got four baby chickens today. Oh, uh, I can't wait to get chickens. And again. her dog is very anxious about them being in the house. <laughs> she wants to see the godmother as well. Oh, I should play the video of her in the car. <laughs> I think everybody would love Don't that. Her up. Lasagna, right, Margie? What did I do with my phone? Totally, all, always all for lasagna. Okay, here, what's this movie? Thieves have their eye on a famous gem from 1963. Thieves have their eye on a famous gem. It's been redone a couple times, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Mm. What is it? Mm. Ooh, I'm liking your doodles. Um, That's what I was humming. <laughs> Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Oh, did that might have come from that movie? Yeah. No, Diamonds of a Girl's Best Friend was earlier than the 60s, wasn't was it? Was it? I don't know. It was in the 50s. Uh, I'm thinking, um, <sighs> they drive Fiat's through a, a oh store. no, but I love that one. I love that one. The Italian job, the Italian, wasn't that job, the Italian job. I like that yeah. movie. That was a fun one. Casey, Casey, hey. are you Googling? <laughs> no, he heard you guys humming. He heard the music. <laughs> yes, it is the Pink Panther. I should oh, are you serious? I was not even sure. It just reminded me of the theme of the movie. Because that's what I was singing. <laughs> that's what I was humming was the Pink Panther. Um, David Niven plays the Phantom. Yep. And he always leaves a glove at the scene of his crimes. Inspector Clouseau stumbles through the investigation. No, no way. <laughs> Have you ever named anything after an animal? Is the final cue clue. Uh, yep, Casey picked up on on the um, tune because he used to watch the cartoon. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Lucky Jackson. Comes to Nevada in what movie? I've heard of this movie. I've never seen it. I wouldn't know anything about the plot. Found it. Lucky hmm. Jackson comes to Nevada 
I'll give you the next one already. Uh, Lucky Jackson comes to Nevada in this movie and he gets a job at a hotel to raise the money to fix his car, his race car. He works at, he gets a job at a hotel to raise money to fix his race car. Hmm. <laughs> Elvis. Nope. Lucky Jackson. I don't even recognize the name Lucky Jackson. I, don't I, don't, either. I never saw I never saw the movie that and so that's the character in the movie. But I do recognize the name of the movie as being, you know, a popular if and a well. Was it a Disney for I don't know if it was Disney, but it was Viva Las Vegas. Oh Lucy is right. That he is Elvis, um, isn't it? Is it uh well Elvis might have been in it. I don't know, but the name of the movie was Viva <laughs> Las Vegas. Right. Viva Las Vegas. Right. He and, Emilio, he and Emilio both chase and Margaret. Ooh. Elvis had a hit with the title song. There you go. Okay, let's move to a different decade. DM, pick yes, a decade. please. Pick a decade. Um, 40s to the 90s. It's hard to work when you get up on my desk. And 70s or 80s. Um, okay, let's go to the 80s. You okay, Nugget? Yeah, you're okay. You got to go downstairs and drink some water. Mommy doesn't have water up here. <laughs> also the name of a rubber stamp company. Oh, wow. That's funny. Um, okay, here's a popular one from the 80s. Um, in 83, young Joel, his name is Joel, J-O-E-L, Runs a profitable enterprise in risky business. <laughs> wow, look at you in your 80s movies. That's my decade. <laughs> a transvestite knocks on his door. He turns yep. his parents home into a bordello. Yeah. He dances in his underwear to old time rock and roll. That was that was when Tom Cruise wasn't quite Tom a crazy Cruise man yet. yet. <laughs> Before Tom Cruise was Tom Cruise. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love this one too. Back in 1981, two raw recruits, you probably know this one too. Don't say it yet. Uh, encounter Sergeant Holka in. Yep. Two raw recruits encounter Sergeant Holka. Who knows what that one is? All right, can you get down? Come on. Boom, chakalaka laka, boom, chakalaka laka. I was holding up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 21 Jump Street. Oh, not quite. Wait, wrong decade. That one was remade a couple times, though. Well, at least once. Officer and a gentleman, close. Mm -mm. No. Private no. Benjamin. I no. gave a clue. Um, She did. She did give a clue there. Uh, second clue is there is Psycho, Ox, and Cruiser. There is Psycho, Ox, and Cruiser. Top Gun? No. Close, though. Really, 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 really close. Ooh, Shrugs. No, that's 90s. Call me Francis, and I'll kill you. <laughs> Call me Francis and I'll kill you. Strikes. <laughs> Lucy got it. Boom shakalaka laka boom shakalaka. That was a funny one. Uh, okay, here we go. In 1985, some senior citizens sneak a swim in. I know what that one is. Yeah, <laughs> I know what that one is. Let's see if they get it in chat. <laughs> Yeah. Be an easy one. Well, it's an easy one if you saw it. If you didn't see it, none, none of them are going to be easy, right? Good movie, though. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Made me cry. Yeah. It was a good movie. Cocoon. Yep. Casey, you never heard of Stripes. Oh, you'd like Stripes. Oh, Casey, you've got to watch Stripes. You would like Stripes. Yes. Have I think you seen you... Um, 
Animal House or <laughs> what's the one? Um, like better than Animal House. It's a yeah, Bill Murray. The one with the golf, golf. Yeah, the Gophers. The, the Gophers. Gophers. <laughs> it's the same time, same from the same people. It's yeah. Um, it's Bill Murray who was hilarious. Yeah, and the mm -hmm. Blues Brothers. It's got a lot of the same humor. Oh in it. yeah. Um, Except for Blues Brothers has music, which is really cool. Yeah, I like Blues Brothers. Um, let's see here. Ooh, in eighty one. Aging parents get a visit from their daughter in this movie. That could be like 8,000 movies. <laughs> That's like a typical yes. plot. Yes, except that is the whole plot. I mean, that is the primary. Oh, okay. The main part, not just that she happened to go see her parents. That is the main. Um, oh, thing. like she's on her way or the whole thing takes place at her parents' house? The whole, she goes to visit her parents and that's like the whole thing takes place. 81. Is it on Golden Pond? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I should know oh that. God. That was filmed here in New Hampshire. <laughs> uh, on you Golden Pond. That came up with the last <laughs> clue because I thought of Jessica Tandy. Oh. Or the other one. And then I was thinking, I think she was, you know, I was going through movies she was in and I. Right. <laughs> that's that's another one that made me cry. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. Okay, um, in 82, both the Friends of Carlotta, both the Friends of Carlotta were featured in this movie. Trying to go a little more difficult for DM. She was a huge movie buff during the 80s, 70s, 80s. 90s. And beyond. <laughs> and beyond. <laughs> yeah. infinity and beyond. Exactly. Both... The Friends of Carlotta were featured in Carlotta's Way, but that's not that. Can you see chat? Yes, I can. Carlotta's Way. Uh, nope. That's what I was thinking, too. Oh, Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid is funny. That's it. Dead Men Don't it Wear Plaid. It is. Yep. What year was that? Steve Martin, 1982. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I thought that was like 87. That's why I... Uh, yeah, yeah, Steve wow. Martin, he's still funny. Still funny. He's, you know, he's one of those guys that gets old and is still funny. He's a very talented man. Yes, he, he is. In the remake of the Pink Panther, which we talked about earlier. Yes. yes. Still got game and musically too. Yes. Oh my gosh. He plays the the um banjo like a oh my gosh. Uh, uh, so good. Yeah. He's yeah. Puts banjo players to shame. He's got his own band. You guys know that? Steve Martin yep. has his own band. I and they actually they actually play gigs, like entertain. It's not they just a, they usually come here for the blues festival. Yeah, they it's have not just that let's play on the porch kind of thing. Yeah. He actually has a band that, that actually performs. And they're really good. So, um, his band plays in some several of his movies with him. Um, there's a lot of like uh, Saturday Night Live type things mm -hmm. where he's had his band on. Yeah, he's a very talented man. Uh, let's see here. In 1989, Mrs. Worthen has an accident in. Yep, Kevin Bacon has his own band too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jack Black has his own band too. Yep. They're funny. He was good in um, Schoolhouse Rock. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Mrs. That's Worthen. Mrs. Worthen has an accident in. Mrs. Worthing. Mrs. Worthen. Worthen. Um, her son insists that she needs help. Anybody almost there? The next clue will probably give it to you. 
Mrs. Worthen has an accident and her son insists that she needs help. Yep, Lucy's got it. Very good, guys. Riding no, Miss Pam, Daisy. I think, got it first. Yeah. Oh, who, Pam said it. For, yep, there she did. The Pam. I, wow. um, yeah, I really haven't seen that movie, to be honest. Driving Miss Daisy? Never saw it. Jessica Tandy. That's a good one, actually. I'm surprised you didn't one. see it back then. Nope. Okay, in 1989, shrimp cocktails attack in. Don't yell it out. Yeah, I know you know this one without even thinking about it. <laughs> shrimp cocktails attack in. You got me. Two spirits lose their handbook. Throw a shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> Two spirits lose their handbook. I have been to see the musical. And the new movie is going to be coming out, I believe, soon. That's right. Oh, I'm excited to see that. I forgot about that. The same star Beetle from Juice. Heathers. <laughs> Lois got it. Beetlejuice. 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 Oh, I should have known that. <laughs> Okay, in 1984, Wisconsin, Wisconsin was the landing zone for Is it just two letters? Nope. Oh, okay. Wisconsin was the landing zone for I think I'm going to pick some and not tell you what decade they're from. Ooh, airplane. That's a good guess, but no. <laughs> Those aren't pillows. <laughs> yeah, airplane nowadays, you really can't watch that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in airplane that is not socially acceptable now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which is what made it funny. <laughs> uh, not E.T., that's nope. what I was thinking. That's yep. I figured that's where you were going with that one. Snakes on a plane are um, Nicholas Cage. Nope. Older. Third mm. kind. I don't think that's older. Snakes on a plane. Yeah, is that the Nicholas Cage one. Yeah, isn't that in the nineties, uh, early nineties? Yeah, that's so. That's newer because this is from the eighties. Yeah. That's what I meant. Oh, you meant it was late later. <laughs> yeah, later. Okay. Um, yeah, Wisconsin was the landing zone for, um, and they have three days, three Milk days. And cheese. Oh, Lucy got it. They have three days to get to Arizona. Starman. Starman. Red Dawn was a good one, Lucy. Oh, yeah, that was good. All right. I'm not going to tell you what decade they're from. Starman, um, I can't, I've seen it, but I don't remember. Um, I, I can see his face and I can't think of the name of the guy. Um, from Starman anyway. or Red Dawn? Starman. Um, okay, here we go. A businessman becomes an unexpected hero. I'm just going to give you the next one with it because, you know, some of the first clues are so, if I'm not giving you the year, sometimes that first clue is so generic that it could be a lot of things. So um, a businessman becomes an unexpected hero in this movie. He needed cheap labor for his factory. Uh oh. Yes, Casey, I believe Snakes was Samuel L. Jackson. It is. A businessman becomes an unexpected hero in he needed cheap labor for his factory. Is it the same guy that plays Beetlejuice is in it? I don't think so. Okay, then Who that's not cool. I thought that was Michael Keaton for some reason. It is. is. It was. And I don't think he was in this one. So Willy Wonka. Not. Nope. Oh, that's a good guess. Wow. Was it called okay. Gung Ho? Um, nope. It happened during World War II. Oh. So oh, it, it, it I know it. it. SL. Yep. Oh, Lois yep. got it. Lois got oh, it. Schindler's really List. Schindler's, yes, that. Yeah. 
Schindler's List. Um, an FBI agent seeks help in this movie. And the victims were being skinned. Ew. What's in the box? <laughs> I don't think it's from that movie, but I know what it is. <laughs> from what movie? I don't think it's the same movie. Uh, um, yeah, an agent seeks help in this movie, and the victim. Honda. I mean, um, skinned. Yeah, Casey got it. Put oh, the Lisa lotion on the. <laughs> Thank you. Put, yeah, I said you know the lotion down. Put it all over the body. Yep, Something silence, like silence yeah. of the lambs. Oh, I that is just creepy to me. He is he plays that so well. He's yeah. just creepy. You know, he has the bluest eyes I've ever seen before in my entire life. I don't know. I like Silence of the Lambs. I have a hard time looking into his eyes long enough to see that they're blue because he just, I, but that, he's a really nice man. Yeah. He gave me, a, he gave me a, uh, when I was at the golden globes for my 21st birthday, he gave me, um, his, uh, autograph. Oh, wow. But he is, he has a cat. <laughs> he, uh, he is such a good actor that he mm -hmm. could just radiate that evil through his eyes. That is, I, I mean, he was really good. He really is. Good. I, so, um, Hannibal came out 20 years later oh. and <laughs> my, I was pregnant with my son. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it, what I thought was really interesting and then, you know, not everybody's going to agree with me. I thought that that movie was portrayed as a love story, which is really interesting. And I'm, I'm sure like, hmm. maybe not everybody. No, I agree it. actually with that one. And I, I really liked the movie. It was, it wasn't like, it was gory, obviously in some places, right. but in other places it wasn't. But what was really funny is that I didn't have morning sickness when I was pregnant with my son, except for like twice. Uh-huh. But, <laughs> but I couldn't watch visual gore without uh -huh. getting sick to my stomach. And I thought oh, that that's... was really interesting. Wow. That is interesting. <laughs> it was completely, <laughs> I was like, okay, I can't look. <laughs> Tell that's me when funny. it's over. <laughs> Sugar, I just messed up. <laughs> um, Buffalo Bill was the boss in. That's another horror film. Casey, she's talking about Hannibal, which was all uh, Anthony Hopkins, also Anthony Hopkins. It came out in the early 2000s. Casey. Every time I hear the word covet, I think <laughs> <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. He coveted his victims. Oh! With a good Chianti. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Bill was the boss in this movie. Buffalo there was Bill, won't you come no business tonight? like show business, Casey. There was no business like show business. No business like show business like no, no business, business I like know. Wow, Bill, nope. Um, what movie did that come from? Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do better. <laughs> Cindy, I will not watch that movie, Silence of the Lambs. I have no desire to watch it now either, Cindy. <laughs> Anything you can do, I can do better. There was no business like show business. Um, what is the movie or musical? Oh, I got a mute, guys. That's my mom. Go ahead. Um, Anything goes? No. No. The next uh, clue will give it away. So. Oh, um, Broadway. Nope. No. New York. Broadway. Cabaret. Nope. Nope. Older. Think older. Go back a few years, a, a couple of decades. Oh, I can see the Amity Jane. Oh, you're getting close. Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley. Margie. What was the What was the movie? What was the musical? Annie Oakley. Annie, get your gun. 
Annie, get your gun. Yes. It was indeed Annie, get your gun. Thank you, Margie. We worked on that one together. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Annie, get your gun. They've um, done that show a lot. Gold digging was the theme of the next movie. Gold digging. And they rented a penthouse apartment to attract well-heeled suitors. So not gold digging out in the river, but, but uh, female gold digging. They rented a penthouse apartment to attract well-heeled suitors. Yeah, Casey, I figured you'd know the musical. What, what, Pretty Woman? Oh, good guess. Moulin Rouge? Nope. Um, both of those go back a decade or two. Before that. Um, Are there two guys that play girls in it? No. Okay, then I'm thinking of something else. Yep. And if I give you the next clue, I'm sure that's going to give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. <laughs> right. How to Marry a Millionaire? Yeah. That's, good... that's it. That's it. There we go. How to Marry a Millionaire. Tu Wong Fu, thanks for everything, Julie Newmar. That is a oh, good yeah. movie. That was a good one. I remember this movie. Oh, I totally remember this movie. I was both creeped out and fascinated at the same time. Um, teleportation experiments were the cause of. Is it come from a book? I don't know. I don't know. Teleportation experiments were the cause of the name of the movie. Yeah, it is. It's a Kafka book. Okay. Don't give it away. Yes, Casey. Was fly. Casey said it. Yep, the fly. Jeff Goldblum. Yes, Jeff Goldblum is naked in that film. <laughs> That's not the part that I remember. <laughs> It's the part I remember because I think I watched it. I might have been 12 years old. Oh, it was the first time I saw, <laughs> saw yeah. naked bodies. <laughs> Jeff Longbloom, yum. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, in 19, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Edward G. Robinson played Dathan, D A T H A N. I don't even know that name, mm -mm. Dathan, but I know the movie. <laughs> Edward G. Robinson played Dathan. I recognize the name Edward G. Robinson. Yep. I just don't know the name, remember the name Dathan. Mm. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, Pam. The Ten Commandments. So let it be written, so let it be done. Are you serious? That's what it was? Yep. Yule, uh, Yule Brenner played the Pharaoh. Well, Ramses. yeah, if you had said Yule Brenner, I would have known it. I Heston has his hair turned white. <laughs> they were still finding pieces of the set from um, the Ten Commandments out in the desert in California. Really? Yep. And the same with, um, there was another epic movie that they were finding pieces uh -huh. of it as the well, wind blows cool. the sand around they oh, find yeah. pieces of them every once in a while that's cool okay um the year in this movie the year was 2274 wow the year was 2274 in this year and michael york was a sandman Does that help at all? Dune? Uh, nope. Darn it. 
good guess. Lucy says Space Odyssey. <laughs> oh, good guess. No. Nothing <laughs> was a Sandman. It was the year 2274. Older Logan residents. Strong. Older Total resi recall. Uh, nope. Older, older residents had to submit to Carousel to renew. I watched this with my father. I know I, I got did. it. Yep. Cindy got it. Pam got it. Uh, Lois got it. Yep. Oh. Josh, she just watched it last week. Wow. <clears throat> okay. Um, a crime is committed on a stranded train in. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I would like to go on this train. The, not the Oriental Express, is it? Murder on the Orient Express. Is it? Yep. Oh, sorry. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know it, actually. I just. Yes, yeah. That really was a true funny. guess. I've read the book because it's an Agatha Christie novel. But Yep. I don't know if I've seen the movie, but I remember, I think I read the book way back as a teenager, the Agatha Christie's. Uh, okay, the relationship between mother and daughter is the theme of... Just uh, one mother and daughter? The relationship between mother and daughter is the mm -hmm. theme of... And their mothers came from feudal China. Joy Luck Club? Yep. That gave it away to me. <laughs> oh, that was an, a 90s movie, too. I figured you'd yep. know it. So, um, all right. You guys, you before I saw the movie. Faster than DM here. Okay. Um, John Candy's. That's brother. what I was going to say. Steel Magnolias until she uh, said. Oh, right. Um, I, I figured if I Until said, she said it, China, that that would yeah. give it away. Um, John Candy's brother gets a gift from the sea in. <clears throat> I'm not saying it. Don't say it. Let, let them get it. Wow, Sheila, she's getting the answers before the questions. That's um, not only a little nuts, that's a lot nuts. <laughs> I'm back. Yes. Rain girl. Splash. Yep. Oh, I watched the Receptionist that. wears her bra outside her shirt. Madison learns to speak English by watching television. Mm -hmm. And Tom Hanks joins her in the sea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two professionals fall in love in... <laughs> every other movie in the world. <laughs> I was going to say nine to five, but I know that they don't fall in love in nine. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I remember they tied him up and used the, the yeah. uh, oh my gosh, he got hung up because they used the uh, retractable thing for the yeah. um, garage door. <laughs> if anybody has not seen 95, you've got to see that. That is actually one of the best comedies ever. It's just good old-fashioned fun, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, no, that that actually was very funny. Dolly Parton's great in there. They're yep. all good. Lily Tomlin. Yep. And um. Um. Yeah. Fonda. Jane Fonda. Yeah. Okay. Did anybody get this? Uh, any guesses on this one yet? The two professionals. Fall in love, the next clue might give it away. Get me a little sunflower colored here. And I'll have what she's having. Nope. Okay. Uh, Charlie Partana is a mob hitman. Charlie Partana is a mob hitman.
I'm going through all my mob movies, but I'm not coming up with that they had a theme of people falling in love. What are they guessing in there? I can't see right now. Uh, Goodfellas? Nope. Uh, you're getting close, though. And if you don't know Charlie Partana, then the next one, Kathleen Turner, is a hired killer. Oh. Now I know. Say it. <laughs> Pam says Pritzy's honor. Yep. Pam is correct. Yep. You got it, Pam. Pam, you're a big movie buff, aren't you? <laughs> Chinatown. That's a good movie, too, Lucy. Ooh, I like watching movies. I, I, on, <laughs> I say this all the time, probably sick of it. I want a job watching movies to find the faux pas before they release the movie. Yep. Because they just Actually, like out at me. Yeah. And, they, um, and I just, I want to be able to, <laughs> before they release the movie, go fix this. <laughs> they actually, it should, it go, they're supposed to fix those things basically from the beginning until the end of the movie. It's not like somebody sits and watches them. Well, yeah, but some, the last editor to, does it, but somebody has to catch it for them. Yeah. And if they don't catch them along the way as they go, they should do it as they're editing each scene. Make sure that each edit, the scene flows. But, yep. you know, but sometimes, sometimes they think that we're not going to catch those things. They to get be missed or, you know, they don't see them or they think we won't notice that her hair no. was this way. And before. sometimes they do it on purpose. Hmm. Um, Seely is the main character. character. Seely is the main character in this movie. I think it was stud already. Um, I didn't see it, but it could have been. It could have been said when I didn't when I wasn't looking there. But I do yeah. I do think I remember somebody saying something about the next um, clue, so that I'm sure that would give it away. Yeah. Any guesses? Easter eggs are different than finding, um, and it's she called them a faux pas, but there's an actual word for it in the film industry. Yeah, I don't. Know it's in, uh, in con. In con incon inconsistency or incongruity. Incontinuity. Incongruities. Something like that. Yeah. All I, I know is that my I dad used to be able to catch all of the shots that if they've messed up and overshot, you know, when somebody's shooting a gun. Yep. He always used to catch those. Continuity. Thank you. Continuity yeah. expert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to be a continuity expert because those things jump out at me in movies. And I think, well, if it's going to, it's going to interrupt my movie jumping out at me. I could get, at least get paid for finding them. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> it sounds good to me. <laughs> so my mom's headed back north, Marianne. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. She's got to have somebody look at that battery problem. Uh, uh. Well, better now than when she got halfway. Oh, that's, that's what she said. <laughs> uh, this was just a trial. <laughs> trial, run. Trial, run. Right. trial run expensive trial run but a trial run nonetheless yeah short um let's see meeting shug changed her life Seely is the main character in this movie and meeting shug changed her life Come on, I know it's on the I think it's Shug. Shug? Yeah. Uh, I think that's how they say it in the movie. Oh, it could be S H U G. Yep. You're right. Color purple. Yep. Yep. Lucy got it. <laughs> I figured as soon as you said Shug or Shug. Um, yeah, it, it's probably really S U G for Shug, you know, but they probably mm -hmm. figured nobody would know how to say it, so they better put the H in. 
you know they remade that or Oprah yes. remade it with the, a newer cast recently yes and a musical I, did you see it uh-uh i didn't either did anybody nope what do you call a man without a body or a nose bob Bob. Oh, without a body. No, I'm sorry. Without a body or on a nose, a nose buddy, a nobody. A, a no, a no. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> you said without a body or a nose, and I was thinking with the body and no limbs. <laughs> yeah, a man with no limbs in the water is Bob. Yeah, that's Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Okay, um. An ex-GI gets a job as a bartender in I know it. I'm not saying it. I know you know it, so better not saying it. <laughs> we talked about him earlier. If it's the same one I'm thinking of. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahamas, come on, pretty mama. Am I right? Yep. Thank you, Lucy. Lucy, get it? Yep. Cocktail. Cocktail. That's what a rooster has. <laughs> Wax. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Lester Burnham needed a change in. Lester Burnham needed. See if I remembered all the characters' names, but I don't. I rarely remember. I might remember the actor, but I don't remember the. Does it have to do with a certain day of the year? <laughs> Lester Burnham needed. I was thinking change. the same thing. The um... because I want to say that that's what it was named. I don't. I don't remember, but I was thinking about that one earlier. Um, it could, but I don't think it's what you're thinking. Because I don't remember characters' names. Yeah. That's what we're saying, too. Yeah, I don't remember characters' names. I'll remember the actor, but not the character. So they give all these clues with the characters' names, and I'm lost. Unless it's one of the ones that I've seen so many times. Or it's <laughs> Heather's, because everybody's name is Heather in it, practically. Or it's, yeah. <laughs> or it's something that just really had some impact because of some right. time in your life or something. Or something that really struck you. And Lester gets the hots for young Angela. Hmm. No, that's not what I was thinking of. Definitely not the movie I was thinking of. <laughs> Lester Burnham needs a change in American Beauty. Yep. Oh, oh yes. He gets right. <laughs> the hots for oh, young I forgot Angela. his oh, name yeah, in that movie. His wife has an affair with her real estate competitor, and the homophobic father next door eventually does him in. Yep. <laughs> oh, that was a creepy movie, too. That was a creepy movie. Um, not in a creepy horror kind of way, but more in just a strange, psychological way. strange. Yeah. Okay. Uh, control your urge to scream this out, DM. June is busting out all over. June was busting out all over. Uh, I, that could be her name. She need a new bra. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> She needed a bra. <laughs> June was busting out all over. I know you know it. It is actually a musical. That's why it's a song. And um, I was in this musical. I love a lot of the music from this musical. Okay, I'm only going to guess, but I don't know. I'm going to say Oklahoma. <laughs> nope. No? Okay. 
Oklahoma. I was only saying that because there's a lot of music in Oklahoma. <laughs> I'm the wave and wheat to can smell so sweet. Wait, mm -hmm. they are all over it. They are carousel. all over it. Carousel. Yep. Yep, it was carousel. <clears throat> Gordon McRae is the carnival barker. He comes back from heaven to observe his daughter's graduation. And my favorite Doesn't song. Doesn't it take place in Maine? My favorite song. Isn't it song, supposed to take place in Maine? I don't Maine? know. It's possible. You'll never walk alone. Mm. Love that song. Um, a lonely butcher was the main character in this one. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> I just gave you two clues and one. <laughs> Wait, Casey, you've never heard of Carousel? Oh, that's another one you need to watch. It's a musical, Casey. Yeah, it's really right? good. Carousel. Yeah, You'll Never Walk Alone. It's the, uh, an amazing song. I love it. Here's a musical I love, and I used to see it every randomly every once in a while. With seven brides for seven brothers, but now I can't. You never see it anywhere. I so see it in the movie. I um, just saw it on the other day. That's really? really? Yeah. I don't remember what I was watching. I yeah. should put it on that whenever it comes. You know what I mean? Like flag yeah. it as a um. It's watch for or alert you. Yeah. My stepmom and I used to watch that um, every weekend while we folded the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Or not every Marty reason, with the Ernest Rorvenine. Marty, let's see. Um Mar yes. He meets a plain girl at a dance hall. His friends call her a dog. And it is Marty. The name of the movie is Marty. I have not seen that one. I was thinking dog fight for that. Well, if you were talking about like that, has anybody ever seen the movie Dog Fight? Yeah, that's that um, not familiar. Wasn't that a military? No. Or am I thinking something different? Uh -uh. It's when guys take the ugliest girl they can find to oh. fight. Oh, oh, how rude! I hate those kind. But it ends up really good because he ends up um, um, in love with her. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, it started out with him thinking she was ugly. Mm -hmm. That's just rude. Um, I think uh, they all might be in the military, but it's not like a dog uh, fight in the uh, air. It's right. Like okay. Um, four college girls think about doing it in... There is a song around the title that I just about started singing, but I won't. Four college girls, huh? Four college girls think about doing it in this one. They went to Fort Lauderdale on spring break. There's three clues. Uh, Fort Lauderdale was the second one. Spring break is the third one. <laughs> Oh, uh, like, you know, Fort, Fort Lauderdale mm -hmm. and you don't know it's spring break? Come on. Um, oh, God. Yep, Cindy got it. Where the boys are. Where the boys are. I was yep. thinking newer than that one. Connie Francis sang the title song. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty old. Where the boys are. That's what her voice sounds like to me. Na, 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 na. <laughs> I never liked her voice. You never liked her? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's funny. <laughs> um, the defense of a small village unites blankety blank blank. Oh, I messed this up. Defense the defense of a, of a small village unites. 
Uh-oh. Silkwood? No, that would be a... Is it? No. Nope. Silkwood would be um, a factory. Good guess, though. Mm-hmm. The defense of a small village unites. There was Brad Dexter and Horst Buchhold. <laughs> I don't remember that one. No, Buchholz. I did not say his last name properly. Buchholz. Yep, I don't get it. Anybody else? There was James Coburn and Robert Vaughn. Oh, that's why I don't get it. It's old. <laughs> older than old. Uh, older than the old ones. <laughs> I would know. I'm, I'm surprised you have. Uh, I, you've probably seen it. I probably have. So it's I Steve just McQueen, Charles Bronson, and Yul Brynner. Oh, I know I've seen it. I saw it with my dad, but I can't think of the name. That was one my dad would have made me watch. Those um, seven men were assembled as a team. Magnificent seven. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it sounded like, yahoo. <laughs> it did, didn't it? Oh, that's funny. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. Senator Stoddard. Tells the truth about blankety blank blank the name the title. Senator Stoddard tells the truth about, and John Wayne was the unknown hero. How could John Wayne be unknown? <laughs> Hmm. Unless it was his first movie, then they knew him. They Not a big John did. Wayne fan. Well, I watch movies even if I'm not a huge fan of the... Sometimes a movie's really good, even if I'm not a huge fan of the star. No, John Wayne... The chickens was uh, the unknown hero, and Lee Marvin played the ruthless villain. Oh, Lucy already got it. Who shot Liberty Valance? Yep. Liberty Valance sounds like some sort of curtain company. <laughs> Who shot Liberty Valance is the entire title. So Senator Stoddard tells the truth about who shot Liberty Balance. Um, but one more and then we do a giveaway. Yeah. Okay. The inner workings of computers were featured in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I mean, computers are featured in a lot, but the inner workings aren't featured so much. So that think think that difference. The inner workings of the computer were featured. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Really trying to remember this one. And let's see. Tron. Yeah. Who got it? Casey. Casey. Yes. Tron. Um, okay. And yes, I have seen that one. You have seen Tron? Yes, because my father made me watch it with him. My father was the, the commander of the television. If there was something on that he wanted to watch, that's what you had to watch at the same time. That's funny. And mostly his likes were sci-fi or war movies or Jeopardy or MASH 
or Hogan's Heroes. Or <laughs> oh, well, I watched all of those. <laughs> yeah. MASH was a really good show. Yep. Yeah. He liked old sitcoms. He hated the newer sitcoms. I love sitcoms. There was one that I did not care for. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't like it. I still don't like it. <laughs> I don't it have Archie it. Bunker in it? Yes. That was one of my father's favorite. It was a lot of people's favorites. I despised the way they treated each other. Yeah. I just, I just did not like it because. I don't know who Archie Bunker is, but was that married with children? Oh, no. that, uh, that was the next generation. And I don't like that one either. Yeah, that's, so, yeah, it was the older generation version of that, basically. But my was, my Mimi's name was Edith. So oh, she's I heard oh, that, that show. Time. Yes, I hated that yeah. show. <laughs> all oh, in the yeah. family. Edith and Archie Bunker and the, the daughter and her husband, mm -hmm. Meathead, all in the family. I did not like all in the family and I did not like married with children. I just I don't like people that just treat each other like garbage. Like dirt. Well, I mean, no sense in, you know, garbage in, garbage out, really. Exactly. Carol Burnett was awesome. Carol Burnett, Tim Conway, and Harvey Corman. Oh, my goodness. That stuff is never, ever, ever gets old and will make you laugh Ugh. forever. Eternally. All right. Type in the hashtag and let's get a giveaway started. Let's see. What hashtag? Oh, happy birthday. The one that's scrolling across the bottom. Hashtag happy birthday. It does not have to be all caps or no caps, or it just has to say hashtag happy birthday. Happy birthday, HPP. And we are going to give away. We've got three giveaways to do tonight. If we get to them all. We've got three that we can give away. Hashtag happy birthday. All right. It is collecting now. Hashtag happy birthday. All right. Let me grab the three. Birthday prizes. <laughs> Too many Y's. Happy Y birthday. Oh, Sarah, got, she got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hashtag happy birthday, Margie. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right. We've got 14 here. We've got six entries. You do not have to enter if you don't want to. You can also enter and gift it to somebody else if you don't want it. While we're waiting, Marianne, I finished my yeah. first envelope. Oh, sweet. Let's see it. Ooh, I like it. How cute. Oh, I like it. Yeah, that's awesome. Wire. Yeah. Here is so smart. That paper clip is uh, um, paper clip, not paper clip. Yeah, that thing. Oh. I always call them paper clips too. Close I, in. Yeah, because it clips. <laughs> yeah. And you don't and think then, about clothes because that's not what we used them for. Mm -hmm. It's a deconstructed envelope, so it opens up all the way. And then there's nice. journaling space on the inside like it wow oh i like it so it's more than just an envelope it doesn't want to focus why is it doing that? looks like a little purse yes i like it a lot that's very cute and ingenious love right. using a scrap <laughs> let's do yeah um i i stuck my envelope somewhere thank I, you i made thank some you. new ones new types thank and you. i not sure where I set them. I thought they were right up here because I thought we might do them on a live, but but they weren't there when I went to get them. So I have to find them. All Did right. you pick yet? Nope. 
I am sharing my screen. You are? I'm yep. still up there. I know. Oh, okay. I'm in process. <laughs> Here we go. I thought maybe I was missing something. I was oh, like, it I... takes a minute. I didn't bother to put everybody back until I got the my, my other screen in. So, um, what is the clothespin grabbing for the closure? It's just a piece of, so I had some, I think this is 18 gauge wire. Wire. Okay. Um, just, and it's just cheap wire, cheap craft wire. So it's probably yeah. got a lot of aluminum in it. And I just sure. bent it down and, um, I made it's a little hard to say. Yeah. So there's two little legs underneath the paper here. Okay. And then, I don't know why it doesn't want to focus probably because it's shiny. Um, yeah. And it's then I just, I bent it into an arch. Let's see if it'll So basically it. bent it in half yeah. and then and bent and it And then I realized over. it was too tall to function. So I just bent right. it in half. Which made um, it stronger. And squeezed it really hard to make sure. Kind of like the hook small. on a hook and eye. Yeah, without actually being a hook. So it has enough girth right. that the springs on here are actually holding it tight when I push it. Perfect. On. So That was a great idea. Hey, Sue. Hey, J-Mac. You guys can still get in. Hashtag happy birthday. J Mac and Sue type in hashtag hey, happy birthday. Sue, I was just thinking about you yesterday and going to text you. And did I? No, I just laid down and was sick again. <laughs> oh, good to see you. J Mac, I have a partially filled box for you. Um, If you win and you already have a box ready to go, I will put it in that box. If you don't have a box, but you want me to hold it to see if there's anything that you end up with from the retreat fundraiser sale, because there's some pretty darn cool things coming on that. Um, I can do that. And if uh, you don't, you want me to send it out, I'll figure out what shipping is. I'll ask you to pay the shipping. And hey, turtley love it. Good to see you. It's been quite a while. <laughs> I totally love it. Oh, that's okay, J-Mac. It was before the holidays, and you said just hold it because you weren't in any hurry because there wasn't very much in it. And we were going to pick up some sales again after um, after the holidays. So we have um, retreat coming in, coming up in a week and a half. We have the most fabulous fundraiser sale coming during retreat live. Um, some things that your fellow HBPers have made that they are contributing to this sale. It's going to be different than any of the sales we've had in the past. I'm super excited about this. And then right after retreat, we are going to start with some more clearance sales. We need to do some clearance sales because the warehouse is overflowing. First, we're going to give retreaters an opportunity to get a super duper pooper scooper discount on anything they want. And whatever is left, then we will... Um, do a another couple of clearance sales and give everybody an opportunity so if you have a box that's not full and you want me to hold it we can do that as well okay so we've got um probably everybody in who's going to get in let's go ahead and draw i will look at youtube so i won't be tempted to scream it out first before you even see it my youtube hasn't even started yet wow what a big delay holy cow my youtube still has not started there it goes. Wow. Yay. It's finally on YouTube. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Yeah, finally. No pooper scooper winners, please. <laughs> Congratulations, Casey. Yay, Casey. Yay. Casey is our first winner. And um, Casey, I'm going to give you. Yeah, everybody always says I never win. Well, you win an HPP. That's because we love you and everybody's a winner here. I'm going to give you your choice of items, Casey. There's three items. And since you're first, you get to choose. And then we'll do some more trivia, play a little bit more. Um, and then we'll do another, another drawing. Hey, the first thing, Casey, is... Ouch, I can't not use that shoulder. Hang on. Is a pillow box punch board. So it's a punch board with the guides on it. 
and the marks and the notches that you need to make the, those pillow boxes. Pillow box punch board. Your second option is a gift bag punch board. A gift bag punch board. Sherman. That's the second option <laughs> is Sherman Dank. I love him. The third option is a cutting mat and mini ruler. And this one is just um, like seven by six. And the ruler is magnetic to the mat. It's very small for great for a small space or for traveling just in a, you know, a little bag. So Casey, which one would you like? The pillow box punch board, the envelope, or I'm sorry, the bag, the gift bag punch board, or the cutting mat and mini ruler. Your choice. And here's where we go. And he chooses the cutting mat and the mini ruler may come in really handy at retreat. So chosen the same thing, Casey. I have like six of those because I can rely on them. <laughs> yes, with the <laughs> magnetic ruler. I love that yeah. magnetic ruler. I would buy it just for the magnetic ruler. Yeah. <laughs> I have two more that will be in the shop for retreaters to come. That would give one away um, today. All right, Casey, your name is on that. That will go in your box that you can get at retreat. So, all right. So let's do this back there again. Yeah, I know. Why? Why is it we can never have enough rulers? Because I know they're, uh, and they have a place. I stick them back in the same container every time. Yet mm -hmm. you go to look for one, and they're not there. I don't mm -hmm. know why. I don't know why. Hey, I'm not going to give the year again, but I'm going to give you the clue. Oh, I want to sing the song of this one. Song of the South featured the hit song. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me um, back up. No, this, it, um, wait, these are all about movies, but this one is about, the movie was called The Song of the South, and the hit song from Song of the South was this song. A lot of people remember, hey, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> a lot of people remember the movie by the song because they don't remember the name of the movie. A lot of people yeah. won't watch that movie anymore. <laughs> oh, good music, though. I don't know. I just don't take offense. To Br'er me. Rabbit and Br'er Bear. It is magnetic and it is very cool. It's electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. It is a good song. Thanks, Margie. That was awesome. <laughs> Don't hurt me. <laughs> Twenty um, pounds of zeal. <laughs> oh, perhaps Brooklyn's most dysfunctional family was featured in this movie. It's not gonna have the No, you can you. No, you cannot have the chicken. Brooklyn's most dis, uh, perhaps Brooklyn's most dysfunctional family was featured in hmm. No, can't be that one. <laughs> Is Cher in it? Forget about it. <laughs> this, one, this is me talking to Penelope. Uh, um, no, I do not believe Cher was in it. Okay. I, d I don't remember. Oh, uh, Little Miss Sunshine was a really good movie, but I don't think they were coming from New York, were they? No. Okay. It is not Little Miss Sunshine. Because they... Abby, they were from Abby and Martha were sweet, but lethal. I don't know if you were here, Casey, but I just got four baby chickens today, and Penelope really wants them. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to play. So it's not that she can't have the chicken. She cannot have the chickens. Yeah. She but cannot she have the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to play, Mom. 
Do you have music on that thing? Like to get out of the movies? Um, I think these are all about movies, but I've got another one here. Give me a second here. And I'll check Not it. Not that I'm wanting to get out of the movies. Yeah. See if you have anything else. Abby and Martha were sweet, but lethal. Uh, I thought for sure somebody was going to get this one right away. Nope. Um, Teddy charged up San Juan Hill. Oh. I know it now, and I don't want to. Yeah. And Cary Grant was son of a sea cook. <laughs> Which is something my mother used to say, so I... Yeah. So that's I probably, see. that might be where it came from. Son of a uh -huh. secret. <laughs> right, Margie? <laughs> she has a lot of learning patience. Arsenic and old lace. To do. Yeah, arsenic and old lace. Lucy got it. Yep. <laughs> um. Okay, let me check. One moment, please. All right. I think the dog wants to go outside, and I know that's not really what she wants, but I think I'm going to let her. That's what she wants, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're going to go the other direction and not through yep. the kitchen. <laughs> and see how well she behaves going yeah, that way. Right. It's going to have a minute, way. Mom. You're going the wrong way. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I'll be back. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Oh, Susan's mom used to say that too. Didn't realize it was from a movie. Hmm. Son of a sea cook. Yep. That's funny. Um, let's see. Okay, our next batch will be music trivia. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what singer has had, now you guys can't look these up on Google because I know that they'll be there and they'll be easy to find. So um, what singer has had a Billboard number one hit in each of the last four decades? Number one hit in each of the last four decades. I don't think of a lot that have had even like top 10, but I don't know if they've had a number one. I just heard this one the other day. Uh, let's see, Dolly Parton, Beyonce, Tony Bennett, Cher. It's excellent guesses. Um, not Michael Jackson. Paul McCartney? Nope. Rolling Stones? Nope. Uh, Tina Turner, Diana Ross. Taylor Swift? I don't think she's been around no, for the last four decades. No, not Taylor Swift. <laughs> Elvis? Wow, good guess. Nope. Tina Turner? Excellent guess. Nope. Oh, wow. J Mac. Yeah, I remember when that was put on as a musical in, Queen? in my area. That's nope. a good one. Queen's my husband's favorite um, band. Um, and they are not dead. They are alive. So, yeah, Susan was kidding. <laughs> alive and kicking, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Taylor Swift was a good joke. <laughs> oh, is she still alive? <laughs> she is alive. <laughs> yep. And that was on purpose. Just eliminated half of them for you. George Strait. No, that can't be right. She is still alive. J. 
Janet Jackson? No. Reba McIntyre? Getting closer. No. Janet Jackson was getting closer, I think. Reba Dolly, Madonna. Nope. Paula Abdul? Nope. The question is, what singer has had a Billboard number oh, one hit yeah, in Casey. each of the last four decades? Stevie Nicks? Nope. A lot of them have had even like Madonna. Top 10. Is, is Casey right? Madonna? Nope. Mm -mm. Madonna. Madonna. This is what uh, this she's had a number one hit in each of the last four decades. Wow, she's about as old as we are then. Who, Madonna? Well, Madonna's old. Yeah, she's older than me. Cindy Lauper? Nope. Cindy's older than me too. Yep. Good guesses. You're headed there. Joan Jett. Oh, you're all around her. I can't believe somebody hasn't already. She is still alive. Um, I, I could say one word or one name that would totally give her away. Um, Mariah Carey. Lucy got it. Oh. I was just going to say one of her number one hits is I a... I thought somebody had said Christmas. that already. I didn't see it. Oh. I liked all the other ones. Yeah. As I said, there's a lot that have had even top ten. Mm -hmm. But a number one billboard. Um, yeah, it's kind of well, crazy. Well, she gets it mostly because of that Christmas song she sings. Right. And it goes to number yep. one all and the time. I was going to say one of her most famous number ones was the big Christmas song. So... I figured that would give it away, or, or if I said mm -hmm. Nick Cannon, that would give it away. So, um, Okay, what was Freddie Mercury's real name? If you can get this one without looking it up, you get an extra bonus point. <laughs> Am I allowed to run to my husband's office? No. <laughs> oh, and I know I don't have his book. His real name was Adam Lambert. <laughs> no, it was not. <laughs> oh, come on, Dan. <clears throat> yep, no, but you can't remember because I ask at this moment. I'm going to tell you because you probably won't get it. I mean, if you knew it, yeah, I mean. It's, yeah, it's like a, it's, um, I love he Adam wasn't too. Moroccan, but he was. Yeah, Farouk Bulsara. Yeah. Yep. Okay, who was the very first American Idol winner? I know you know it, so don't say it out loud. Actually, I don't. I never watched that show. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So this was like, what, 15 years ago? The very But first, I think I know who it is. Very first American Idol winner. Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. You got it. Yep. I was just going to say, she just got a divorce from somebody who's a couple lines up. Son. She married, yeah, Reba's son. Yep. Um, mm, 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 mm. Which pop star wrote songs for Ariana Grande, Miley Cyrus, and Britney Spears, and Alice Cooper? What pop star wrote songs for Ariana Grande, Miley Cyrus, Britney Spears, and Alice Cooper? Carly Simon? Nope. That's a good guess. Because she wrote a lot of she songs. She wrote a lot for a lot of people, yeah. Hmm. See, this is when I need my husband. Pink, nope, that's a good guess. Megan Trainer, nope. Sia, it's oh, great guess. Sia, nope. It's older. She's uh, older, guys. Yeah, but not, not, um, she's not old. 
I mean, you know, writing for Miley Cyrus, Ariana Grande, Britney Spears. She's not old, but also for Alice Cooper. But, you know, he doesn't do anything mainstream to his age. So, mm -hmm. I have to claim Alice Cooper as an Arizonan. <laughs> it's a Um, Debbie Gibson, Sarah Bareilles. Wow, those are good guesses. Um, it's it's her name. Uh, she goes by one a one word name, like Cher, but it's not Cher. Madonna, not Madonna. Younger than that, I believe. I don't know exactly. Somebody what already said Pink, not Pink. I don't know exactly how old she is, but my guess is probably closer to Pink than Madonna. Hmm. I don't know anybody else that has a single name. Um, not Rihanna, not Sia. I think Sia's a great, great guess, but uh, starts with a K. Starts with a K. Hmm. Lady Gaga, Beyonce. Starts with the K. Just kicking it in the middle with. Mm -mm. Hmm. What singers? Kiara, Katy Perry, Kitten, Kesha, 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 Kesha. Kesha. Yep, Kesha. Um. Well, here's a fun one. Before Miley Cyrus recorded Wrecking Ball, who, what, what singer was it offered to that did not take it? And she was named above in this last, as a possible. Well, every female was named above. Yeah. Well, just for this last question. And yeah, almost everybody was. She was named in this last one, though. Katy Perry? Nope. Lady Gaga? Nope. Taylor Swift? Nope. Oh. Um... Uh, every bit is big. I guess Taylor's probably pretty big right now, huh? I was going to say bigger than that, but she's she's pretty big. She's like the, the thing right now, I guess. I don't know. I've never been a huge Taylor fan. I'm sorry to everybody who Neither is. I. I just haven't been. Uh, I don't have anything against her. I'm just not a huge fan, not a follower. Um, but bigger before Taylor Swift. So... Pink, my, um, Miley recorded Wrecking Ball, but before she did, it was offered to this other singer who did not do it. Ariana? Nope. No, Ariana's young, younger. Um, and the other singer is older than, older than, um, I don't know. What's her name? She's older than Miley. Miley recorded it. The other singer was offered to um, was older. If you like it, then you better put a ring on it. Oh. Put a ring on it. Oh, 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 oh. Beyonce. Yep. Yes, it was offered to Beyonce. She did not take it. Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Here's a movie song trivia. In The Big Lebowski, 
the dude can't stand which band? It's not Sean on I, is it? No. Nope. <laughs> I don't know what. They're still around, still recording, doing great, but uh, they were big. Um, they were big in the 80s. My time. Aerosmith. Uh, nope, but it was one we kind of classified in that same. We had Aerosmith, Diamond, not Diamond Real, uh, Boston, Foreigner, Foreigner. Um, Burner. Burner. And this was one of those that we kind of claimed. Not Rolling Stones. <clears throat> Hmm. Um, the Eagles. Oh, I think Rush. Love Rush. Um, police. It was. It was the Eagles. Oh, sorry. Eagles I was still playing. Um, who, which artist does Paul McCartney credit with teaching him everything he knows? Himself. Paul McCartney. Yeah, Paul, Paul, McCart Paul McCartney says this guy taught him everything he knows. Who is it? I'm not another one of the Beatles. Nope, not a Beatle. That I can tell you. Not a beetle. Elton John? Um, no. Um, he did, I believe he did play the piano and sing. And probably from about the same era. Billy Joel? No. I think he's older than Joel. John, you're the piano man. I think he's older than Billy Joel. Oh, um, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. What's Who his name? Is? Jerry Lee Lewis? No, but that's really darn close, I think, in my mind. <laughs> Goodness, great little Richard, Susan got it. Little oh, um, Lucy got it. Yeah, little Richard. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Who was the first woman ever inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? First band or first person? First woman. Oh, woman. First woman ever inducted. She deserves some respect for sure. Oh, show. Aretha Franklin. Yep. <laughs> um, dropped a clue on that one. Yeah, I know. They may or may not have picked it up, but I <laughs> think you did. Um, believe it or not, Jimi Hendrix only had one top 40 hit. Mm -hmm. Which was it? Which song was it? Jimi Hendrix only had one top 40 hit. I can't say that I know this song. I might recognize it if I hear it, but I don't recognize it by name. Um, Blue Haze? Uh, nope. Purple Haze? No. It's got four words in the title. Oh. I can tell you he was at Woodstock. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix only had one top 40 song. What was it? All along the Watchtower. Yep, Watchtower. Sarah got it. Lucy got it. Nice, so girls. Who is the only country artist to have a top 20 hit on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart 
for six straight decades. She deserves some respect. Can't be her again. Nope. She wasn't known as a country artist anyway. Coal miner's daughter? Nope. Loretta Lynn. Who was the only country artist to have a top 20 hit on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart for six straight decades? Dolly. Dolly. Yep. Sarah got it. Yeah. Uh, okay. What rock icon was the founder of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Long-Haired Men? <laughs> Long-Haired Men? Yeah. What rock, what rock icon founded the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Long-Haired Men? I did not know this, and it cracks me up. He founded the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Long-Haired Men. What rock icon? He's not rock. Jack Black. Nope. No. Older, older than Jack Black. Oh, what's his name? Probably a bald guy. <laughs> Greg Allman. Ooh, good guess. Willie Nelson. Good guess. Nope. Oh, Willie Nelson. Yeah, that's why I said he's not a. Yeah. He's a pop icon. Um, I don't. There may have been a point that he had long hair, but he wasn't known for his long hair. So don't try to think of who had long hair. Think of who would start a society like that. Crosby? Nope. Initial, oh, good guess, Mick Jagger. David Lee Roth. Wow, those are great guesses. Yeah, David Lee Roth is good. Yeah, um, and Mick Jagger and David Lee Roth, uh, yeah, it, who stay right there in that vein. Uh, same era, same lineup, all the boys. Steven Tyler? Uh, nope, another good one. Lineup, all the boys. Ozzy Osbourne, nope. There's another one that probably hung out with them. Bruce? Bruce. Bruce. Bruce Springsteen. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> nope. Eddie Van Halen. Nope. His initials are DB. <laughs> DD. D. D. B. Oh, yep. DP. Bowie. Oh, David Bowie. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know that I ever remember him with long hair, but it sounds like something he would do. Oh, uh, here's an easy one. What um, legendary vocalist is a cousin of Whitney Houston? really helped her get her start foot in the door um they grew up singing at church together but then yes y'all know her y'all know her i know yeah you know. It's, just, it's like it's on the tip of my tongue and it won't mm -hmm. come off that one was a little weird Easy for who? Oh, Dion Warwick. Yeah, yep. It was Dion. 
What was um, Madonna's very first, let's see, was it hit or number one? Uh, what was Madonna's first top 10 hit? Let's see, I had that album. Oh. I did not. Hmm. Now I'm going down the list. <laughs> Lucky Star, Like a Virgin. Nope. No. It was the second album. First top 10 hit. I don't, I can't, uh, I'm sure I've heard the song, but I don't even remember what the song sounds like. I mean, I know it was a top 10, but I can't recollect the song. Crazy for you? No, good guess. Holiday. Oh, holiday. Oh. It would be oh. so nice. Oh, holiday. that's right. I just didn't know that's what it was called. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. We oh, took yeah. holiday. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. I don't know if I publicly admit it, but I was never a huge Madonna fan. Just one day out of life. It would be. <laughs> Oh, uh, nice. what rock star moonlights as a horror movie writer and director? Damn knows this. I'm sure you know this one. Was his name already mentioned once? Nope. Okay. Or if it was, I didn't see it. Okay. I haven't said it. Mm. I'm getting a headache. <laughs> Casey cheated. <laughs> Too many song trivias. Rob. Zombie. Yep. What video beat Thriller for video of the year at the first ever MTV Video Music Award Awards? Huh? Wait a minute. What was it? What video beat Thriller? For video of the year at the first ever MTV Video Music Awards. Damn it, I know this one. I know you do. Yep, it was Zombie. It was Rob Zombie. Not Video Killed the Radio Star. Nope. Because <sighs> that was the first song played on uh, MTV. Yeah. So if you can come up with the song or the group that had the song. I know. How could anybody beat Michael Jackson's Thriller? I know. Repo Man. No. Mm -mm. What video beat Thriller? I can't think of this video, so I'm going to have to go look it up because it must have been a good video. Because Thriller was huge. It wasn't Men Without Hats, was it? No. Okay. <laughs> I love the song, So You Can Dance. You Can Dance. Oh, yeah. I like that. And that's a great video. Blondie, Devo. No. No. 
I can give uh -huh, you take on me. Nope. Damn it. Because that's a good video too. That's oh, I don't can't think of the video, but I do like the song. Take on me. Take on me. Um, it wasn't jump. No. You want me to give you the group and you come up with the song? Sure. The group is the cars. Oh, drive fast, drive so fast, drive. Uh -huh. Um, yes, there's a girl on top of a hood on a video. I remember that. Oh, video. Well, no wonder it beat out Thriller. <laughs> yeah. I want to say Christy Brink. It's always about the girl. <laughs> well, no, I just, I remember, I just remember the video once you said it. Mm. Anybody know what the song was? Not Drive. No. Oh. It was dry. As I said, I can't remember this video um, by the name of the song. I'm going to have to go back and find it because I probably go, oh, yeah, that one. But I the, the name of the song isn't bringing it to me. Hmm. The Cars You Might Think. You might think I'm crazy to hang around with you. That was a good video. Okay. Maybe you think I'm lucky. And have something to do. I but don't remember the, um, that your wife the video at all. And so you might think I'm foolish. Who was the first woman to have four country albums reach number one on the Billboard 200? Loretta Lynn. Nope. Younger. Wasn't Reba, was it? Nope. Younger. Kelly Clarkson. Nope. Close. Very close. Hey, those who came in later didn't see my wax seal dangles. <laughs> Tiny little eyelids, paw, and the little kitty head. Because you're cute. Uh, doesn't sound familiar. Taylor, nope. Country singer, the first woman to have four country albums reach number one on Billboard 200. Probably a little bit younger than Kelly Clarkson, but they're probably pretty darn close in age. Carrie Underwood? That's yep, a good Carrie, job. yep. Susan what, got it. What singer was born? Uh, Georgios Kiriakos. Panayotu. And don't ask me to say that again. Because I butchered his last name. I'm sure I, I want to say Michael? It. Yep. Because I know he's Greek. That's why yeah, I, I was going to say, I know it's Greek and I'm sure I butchered that. Which astronomer is name dropped in Bohemian Rhapsody? I just listened to that this morning. <laughs> Galileo, Galileo. Exactly. Galileo. <laughs> I was just thinking about the other day, actually. <laughs> oh, that's a great song. I hear it quite frequently. Yeah. Yeah. Mark plays it very well. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah. I I love Adam Lambert with um I mean I like Freddie Prince too, don't get me wrong. I was Freddie always, Mercury. I mean, Freddie Mercury, Prince. not Freddie I Prince. Was gonna who the heck is Holy Freddie? cow. No. You don't know who Freddie Prince is? No. The original oh. Freddie Prince. Wow. Not Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince was a comedian. I I am a, a huge fan of, of Freddie Mercury, but I really like Adam Lambert doing this. I just think he does a great Freddie. <laughs> it's, he's awesome. I have not seen um, the movie, the recent movie. There is um, a documentary movie out with Adam Lambert playing with them. and Oh, yeah, I'm aware. I just haven't seen oh, it. You just haven't seen it, yeah. Um, which Super Bowl halftime show performer was upstaged by a dancing shark? 
I must have missed this one. I'm so glad you it didn't wasn't mention. Janet Jackson. She was upstaged by herself. Right. <laughs> I was just nope. gonna say I'm really glad nope. you didn't mention that one. <laughs> yep, nope. <laughs> upstaged by a dancing shark. Was it baby the baby shark video when that came out? Probably. I, I don't know. I don't remember seeing this halftime, so uh Adam's range is perfect for I agree, Casey. Love Adam. Um, she's fairly young. Well, she used to be young. Everybody's getting old now. <laughs> she's not as young as she used to be, but I still consider her, her, one of the youngsters. Hmm. Have we already said her name in something? Miley uh, Cyrus? I think once I heard her name said nope last time i saw her she was a judge on one of the shows um might have been american idol i haven't watched any of those in a while perry Katy Perry. Mm -hmm. Yep. Katy Perry. Here's a good one. As a child, what singer held the longest note ever on Star Search? Do you guys remember Star Search? Yes, I loved oh that Oh my show. gosh. Talk about our childhood. That was way back in the day. I think that was a little bit before my time. Yeah, it was. I remember hearing about it, but I don't. I don't think I've ever seen it. Um, uh, Star Search was the original audition. She's from Alaska. No, nope. well, it's kind of obvious cool. what it is. I mean, based on the name. I just, well, yeah, I yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, hearing the it. Original American remember. Idol. <laughs> yeah, no, the original America's Got Talent. I would say. Nope. Well, yeah, because American Idol had some very specific rules. You had to be under a certain but age. I'm just talking about the format. Yeah. And Star Search, you had to be young. They were it was all young youngsters. Nope, not Britney Spears. Um and Star Search, well, I, I they did have they I remember Linda Ellaby on Star Search. So there were I don't know if they had age rules, but there was a lot of children. Yeah, they did. There was a lot of children on Star Search. And um, what child held the longest note? On Star Search. Hmm. I don't know, that's a stumper. Um, it is a male. Oh. Mm -hmm. He is um, very relevant today as an adult entertainer. Hmm. Um, let's see. He was a coach on American Idol. I don't know if he still is because I haven't watched it for several seasons. Not Justin Timberlake. All you babies don't remember Star Surge. <laughs> I wonder, I'll bet you could, wow, Ed McMahon. I'll bet you could um, find it on YouTube. I'll bet some I of bet they have it. Out there. Ed McMahon and Star Search. <laughs> oh, I just have goodness. vague memories of it. I'm yeah, sorry. me too. Just they're vague, but they're there, you know. Um, <laughs> that's funny. He, Adam Levine. No, good guess. Good guess. He was, yeah, he was, um, I don't know if he still is. I haven't watched it in several years, but, um, and it, it seems like they're switching him up all the time now. Um, but he was a coach, um, still very relevant in entertaining. I consider him still a youngster, a young guy, <laughs> not Howie. 
Um, uh, American Idol is it? No, oh, wait a minute. No, not, I'm sorry, not American Idol. The voice where they turn around, the chairs turn around. That's the voice, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, no. So he was a coach on the voice, not American Idol. I apologize. That changes everything. Yes, he was a does. coach on the voice with the chair turning around. Seal. Ooh, good guess. No. Groucho Marx. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'd be an awesome coach. Um, what other, what other, uh, what clue could I give you? John Legend? No. Close. Um, probably... I think he was right before John Legend as a coach. I think he was right before. I think it was before. He's about John Legend's age. I'd say they're... P. Diddy? Oh, <laughs> nope. Pharrell? Nope. I hope I feel like when you say this, it's going to be obvious. <laughs> I, you know, yeah. I'm going to go, oh, God. Uh, Pharrell Williams was a really good guess. Um, Not that I watched much of The Voice, but. <laughs> yeah, I liked The Voice. No, I just didn't. I didn't, I didn't have TV anything. when it was popular, so. Right. For um, a few years, I haven't watched much of anything in that realm. Um. No, leave her alone. I think that it was, I think it was the voice. Okay, let me Google him really quick and give you some more clues. Yeah, I agree. You're going to go, oh, shoot. Yeah, I should have known that. Uh, he, he is a singer songwriter and he's an exceptional dancer. That I can tell you. Let me see what else I can find out about him. He's 45 years old, so still one of the youngsters. <laughs> He's my age. R and B. I released his uh, debut album at the age of fifteen. I did not know that. <laughs> whose line is it, anyways? Is that what you're talking about, Casey Street? Oh, I love whose line is it. That was such a great show. That is so funny. Uh, let me give you a couple of his songs. Let's see if I can find something without. He did a, um, a Super Bowl halftime fairly recently, I believe it was. Yeah, yeah, I think it was mm, just in the last couple of years. Ice tea? No. Sorry, I just pulled him. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to just come up. He with was him. born in Texas. Yes, it was the voice that he was on. He was born in Texas. I, I can see his face, but I cannot remember. That his wouldn't name. help me at all. That would throw me off if you told me he was born in Texas. Well, I'm just thinking of like the people yeah. I've seen on the YouTube videos of the voice. Mm -hmm. And I can see his face, and I'm pretty I sure I know no who it idea. is. But I, I cannot uh, remember his name. Yeah, I had no idea, though, that he released his debut album at age 15. Um. Oh, I did not know this. When he was 13, he met A.J. Alexander at a local talent show in Atlanta. And Alexander, at the time, was Bobby Brown's bodyguard. And he would take 
this guy around with him and have him perform in parking lots and talent shows. Hmm. And then he got him on Star Search. And right after that, he got an audition and was signed with a label. He was introduced to the public on a song called Call Me a Mac. That would mean nothing to me. Nope. But not Keith Urban. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Back the truck up. Uh, Sarah Usher. Usher. Uh, yep. Oh, oh, yeah. There I go. Make songs up on the spot. Oh, you're talking about. Um, <laughs> yeah. What's his name? Um, That's been the oh, whole problem. <laughs> no, we're talking about Wayne. Wayne Brady. Yeah, I, I love, love Wayne Brady. Brady. Yeah, I love him. Usher. No, I did not know that about Usher. I didn't know several of those things. Didn't know he started at uh, 13 doing that. And that's how he started. And then it was on Star Search. Held the longest note ever on Star Search. And didn't know he released his debut album at 15. That's pretty impressive. And it was the voice he was a coach on. All right, let's do another giveaway. Yay. Yay for giveaway. <laughs> I should look at the clock. See where we're at. Let me do the last paw print here. Um, put in the same hashtag as last time. I'll pull it up in just a second. Hashtag happy birthday. Happy birthday, HPP. Wow. Happy, happy birthday, HPP. Happy days will come to you all year. Love Usher's voice. Gorgeous. Yes. Mm -hmm. He does have a nice, very nice voice. Okay. Hashtag happy birthday. Go ahead and put that in. And we will this back here. Oh, that was weird. My watch vibrated at the same time as your alarm went off. Well, you do you have an alarm at seven o'clock? <laughs> uh, well, yes, nine o'clock. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> duh. That's funny. That is. Okay. Hashtag happy birthday. <clears throat> oh, damn, you've made really good progress on that piece of paper. Thank you. And Jen, that was an amazing envelope that you made. Well, thank you. I like the closure. I was trying to use up stuff on my desk. Genius. I sat down and I saw that <laughs> what I want to call a paper clip also. Um yeah. close pen. pen. <laughs> I saw the clothes pen and I thought, okay, well, whatever I make, I'm gonna use that today. That's gotta be closure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's okay, Casey. You've been busy packing and organizing. <laughs> yeah, DM has a lot of patience to do that, Margie says. No. Okay, get your hashtag happy birthday in there. We're going to draw for the last two prizes for happy birthday. This has been a nice, relaxed, kickback, happy birthday. I like it. I like it. I love I knew it. That was I coming. want some more yeah. of it. <laughs> it uh, yeah, it's just been enjoyable spending the afternoon, early evening with you guys. All right, if everybody's in, let's go ahead and draw. I will watch YouTube so I won't shout it out. <laughs> shout, shout. <laughs> Let it all out. Oh my it's not even on my YouTube yet. There it goes. Oh, come on. I'm well, talking to you. I will let you shout it out. Whoop, whoop. Congratulations, Don Marie. Oh, did I win? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even watching. <laughs> That's funny. 
Would you like the pillow box punch board or the gift bag punch board? Can you do it again and give it to somebody else, please? I can. I'm giving up my thing to somebody else. I can. I can. Let's do that again. Let's draw it again then. Draw, draw, draw it again. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Oh, this is like amazing. Every winner so far has been. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I forgot to put it up on the screen. Oh, every winner so far has been. Somebody who's coming to retreat. Oh, how funny. I know. Well, you know, <laughs> hi, Jamie. Y'all know that I can't control this. It's That's why you're seeing it scroll live. The computer picks. Sarah, congratulations, Sarah. Would you like the pillow box punch board or the gift bag punch board? Congratulations, Sarah. Which would you use more? Gift bag punch board or pillow box punch board? The gift bag. Awesome. Okay, don't go anywhere. We're going to put this one back up. We're going to tell it to draw one more time and we'll give away the pillow box punch board. Okay, let me write Sarah's name on this one. Sarah, Wait, that will go into that your one. retreat box. So you don't have to pay any shipping. Oh, wow. I thought it was going to stop and then it kept going. And then it, wow. <laughs> it's, really, it's really funny. I, I think that's awesome, but I just don't have control over my craft room right now. So I am going to follow <laughs> suit with uh, Mia and let the next person get it. Because... I was thinking that that was just a sign that you need to come to retreat. <laughs> <laughs> right oh my goodness i would love to i know we would love to have you here okay <laughs> it's drawn again thank you jan for passing that on and oh. i understand <laughs> i'm congrats jan <laughs> i understand oh i understand i'm Oops. feeling very overwhelmed <laughs> i forgot to, i forgot to tell it to hold out the names once they've won so sorry casey but i'm gonna have it draw again because Casey was the first winner. Casey, you better play the lottery, though. <laughs> right? Twice in one night. Yeah. I'm going to have a draw again. Sorry about that. Whoop! Whoop! Yay! Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Because I just looked up at YouTube and it hadn't even gone yet. So. Yep. <laughs> oh, but I do have a box for her. So you don't have to pay shipping. I'll just drop it in your box. Congrats. Congratulations, Susan. 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 Yay, Susan. Congratulations. Okay, let's do this. Let's remove that one. Let's remove that banner. Back to the comments. There we are. Congratulations. All winners here. <laughs> yeah, let me write Susan on here. Oh, it's not writing. Pen isn't on this. Um, Does, it doesn't like it. doesn't stay on this acetate very well. I'll just take it out and drop it in your box so I don't forget whose it is because it will rub off probably. Okay, that works. All right. Thanks. Yeah, and congratulations. That is most awesome my youtube is really slow it is i don't know why um i i it seems like you guys saw it before i ever did on youtube so it was a little slow being in hpp is being a winner that's right you guys uh, yeah we just we really from all admin we want to say thank you for being such an amazing group making it so enjoyable to be admin they do a lot of work behind the scenes um Anybody, you know, that's admin in, in any group, you know that there's a lot of stuff to do. And we do a lot of lives and a lot of promotions and things like that. And admin is all involved in that. So they put in a lot of time, a lot of effort. Um, and that's their, their own personal time. And they do it because um, HPP is just a bunch of amazing people. And they love you. We all love you. I love you. 
and it's worth doing it just because it's a very fun family. So yeah, Susan's keeping her prize. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she should. <laughs> so we just want you to know how much we appreciate you all. Um, Jamie, I think you are the only one on Facebook. Jamie cannot see the comments from people on YouTube and the YouTube people cannot see Jamie's comments because Jamie is on, on Facebook in the Facebook page. Um, oh. if there's anybody here who is not, uh, a part of the Facebook group yet, the Facebook page is public. The Facebook group is private. Go over to, there is a link on the Facebook page but it is happy paper people with Marianne and just answer the three questions and you'll be right in. We would love to have you join us there. It is a safe place for you to learn and grow and share, inspire, be inspired, share your creations, always positive energy, always uplifting, always supportive. And that's the way we want to keep it. And that's why we keep it um, a private group. We don't care how big we grow. We care more about the quality of the people. So those who come in and stay are those who are um, supportive of other artists and want to learn and grow and help others along the way as well. Jamie, welcome. First time here. So Jamie, I want to invite you over then to the Facebook group. Hop on over there and join. We'll get you right in. And uh, it's not too late to get into the April challenge. Go up to the featured posts if you guys haven't done them yet. This is an easy one because there's only three items per week. So it's a total of 12 items. There's plenty of time to make them and you only have to make one of each item. So it's, not, to show it's not a mass make of all of the same thing. So actually, let's see. Is Monday the beginning of the fourth week? It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Hang on a minute. If I've got But you could give a sneak peek. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. If I've got the printout right here, which I think I do. I'm going to tell you what next week's prompts are. Give you guys a jump on it. I know it's right here. It's just uh, which paper did I bury it under? Well, that's what I was thinking about the little envelope. I was going to show an example of an unusual <laughs> closure, but <laughs> I just had it and now I don't see it. Oh, welcome to Minecraft. I know. If you just had it in your hand. You literally just had it. Check the floor. Right? <laughs> you did fall. Oh, I got it. Okay. Okay. Here is the challenge for April. Four weeks in April. We are just starting the fourth week, so you have plenty of time to go back and pick up the first three weeks if you have not done it yet. Each week, we put out three prompts. And the challenge is just to make one or more of each item of those three prompts. Post your photos in the Happy Paper People Facebook group on the final day, on or before the final day, which is Sunday, April 28th. That is a week from tomorrow. Post one final picture with all 12 items in that photo. And make sure, please make sure you use the hashtag, hashtag HPP. A-P-R-E-M-B, that's for Happy Paper People, April Embellishments, okay? That's how we pull to get you in the drawing for the winners. So please make sure you do not forget the hashtag. Week one was to make an altered paper clip, a belly band, and a tuck spot. Super easy. Every item, each one of those three needed to have a dangle. That's the caveat there. Week two was to make three different types of envelopes with three unique creative closures. You want to think outside the box and look at your desk like Jen just did. She saw a clothespin, said, I'm going to turn the clothespin into a closure for this envelope. Week three, which we're just finishing, is to make three different page tabs, and each page tab must have a dangle. And if you want to go back and watch this past Monday's Monday Jumpstart, we made a whole bunch of and showed a whole bunch of different types of page tabs on there just to give you some ideas. You sure did. Get your creativity going and then you'll go, oh yeah, I can do tons of things like that. Week four, which starts actually Monday, but for being at the birthday party, I'm going to give it to you early, is to make a snippet strip. The snippet strip should be between 12 and 16 inches, an embellished ruffle 
that can be paper or fabric and a bookmark. Okay, they do not have to be sewn. They can be glued. They can be sewn. They can be glued and then you can um, stamp stitches on it or draw stitches on it if you want. Just because it's a snippet strip, strip or a ruffle does not mean it has to be sewn. So a snippet strip can be a piece of fabric or a piece of paper that's 12 to 16 inches long with all kinds of things glued on it. And each of these items must have bling, some kind of bling. So then you could take that snippet strip and you could cut off a little chunk of it to use it as a cluster. You could cut off a longer piece to use it as a belly band. Okay, so snippet strip, an embellished ruffle. So you could take a piece of fabric and fold it or a piece of paper and fold it and glue it. Um, I actually did a ruffle as a page tab on Monday. If you want to know how to do, you know, any, any, any kind of ruffle, paper or fabric and a bookmark, super easy. So there's still plenty of time to catch up on the whole uh, thing. But remember this week, each item must have bling, 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 bling. So glue or staple anything, any way you want to hold it together. Okay. Um, Monday jumpstart. We'll go over these again because those who weren't here will get it on Monday. If you were here, you get a jump on it. You probably haven't done over the weekend. Then don't forget to post your picture with all 12 items. Don't forget the hashtag because we'll pull in a week from Monday. Ooh, actually a week from Monday. That's the Monday of retreat week. We're going to have the drawing on Monday, April 29th at noon mountain time at Monday Jumpstart. That's going to be an extra fun Monday Jumpstart. I'm looking forward to it. We will do the giveaway on that day. Yeah. Um, did we do cat craft room hacks already? Um, if you did, I think we uh, craft room hacks. We do those here not. And there, everywhere, but we have a, a tutorial that we're going to record. We couldn't because I had bronchitis. So we're going to get that recorded um, really soon here. Maybe we'll wait and do it next week on Monday. Hmm. Maybe. Mm, difficult, but. No, nah, no, nah, not at all. <laughs> it might be fun. So we'll, we'll figure that out. Okay. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. We really enjoy you um, spending the afternoon with us, uh, letting me stretch your brains with a little bit of trivia. Thanks, DM and Jen, for hanging no out problem. here. And thanks for having us. Making Thank something you. at the same time. Gremlins. <laughs> Yeah, my gr the gremlin has stolen the envelope. I can't find it. Aww. I should have done something about the movie Gremlins. I like that. Mugwai, mugwai. <laughs> go finish off the cake. I have to have yeah. dinner before I can have the cake. But yeah, everybody go have your birthday cake, your birthday brownie, whatever it is that you got. Ice cream and berries. That actually sounds really good. Just make and, sure it's before midnight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend, uh, rest of a weekend, Sunday, and then we'll see you Monday at noon Mountain Time. Bye, everyone. See ya. Bye.